and we are live happy easter everyone this is the big one premier league is back and hopefully we have a cracking easter egg for you today as what we're going to sit here there's 15 minutes left for the lineup to come out there's one hour left for the big one brentford versus manchester united and we are here to cover it you know in terms of the pre-warm-up the, the watch along is coming straight after as well in one power stream but before we continue please you know what to do hit the like now for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on mufc realist tv ladies and gentlemen from mandalay bay las vegas uh, Hey, cheers, 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 big ears. Happy, happy, happy Saturday, Easter. How you doing? We are back. We are live. And of course, we're going to, you know, this is the warm up show. So hopefully we will stretch together, warm up those limbs. And who's going to start? We don't know. But that is the excitement, isn't it? Like, you know, will Kobe Mainu start or is it a mind games? Um, you know, there was some widely reports saying that he was sick. Perhaps he's back. But we know one thing for sure that we have Mason Mount ready to be thrown into the fire. And Lissandra Martinez. Will Lissandra Martinez also start? Will he be on the bench? However, however, it's been a cracking Saturday. Goals galore as Newcastle defeated West Ham with 4-3. And Newcastle got a red card as well. But Chelsea, we've got to talk about Chelsea. Oh, my lordy. Lordy, 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 against the second bottom in the league. They drew 2-2, and we are playing Chelsea on Thursday. And they play at Stamford Bridge. Come on, Chelsea, what are you up to, right? Jesus Christ. But you know what? <sighs> Villa is kind of playing at the moment. There's 1-0, and it's even Steven there as well. But if we look at Spursy, Spursy will be Spursy. Trust me, right? They hoffed and they puffed and they hardly go over their line with a 2-1 victory against Luton. So let me know how you're feeling. I mean, I keep saying that we will finish above Spurs and Villa. Am I right? Am I wrong? Anyway, um, I have some guests coming in here. I have all the way from Sweden, not USA, but from Sweden, Gothenburg. You've seen him before. It's Thomas. Thomas, you are on mute, buddy. So unmute yourself. Make your voice heard. How are you feeling today? Are you excited that Premier League is back, mate? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I was supposed to be excited uh, for the international break too, since we didn't get a new, new, uh, oh, yes. so-called <laughs> okay. captain. That didn't go but, down uh, well. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited too for Premier League to come back. Yeah. Mate. I mean, uh, in terms in terms of the prospect, the results that we've seen today, right? Yeah. Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Um, what was the name of the referee? English. England. They're in England, wasn't it? What a plonk. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I it, uh, I just think that, I mean, I, I, I was criti critical towards the refs in the PL before VAR. But it's like VAR came in and they made them worse. <laughs> it's yeah. like you know what, Thomas? Hang on, hang on. It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. That's what it is. A disgrace. It's a disgrace. Yeah, <laughs> it is a disgrace, my friend. <laughs> really, that is embarrassing. There was never, um, there was never a, a a pen in the first place. If you watched it, and um, and then he gets his second yellow and gets sent off, but still they couldn't finish the dinner. You know, so kudos, kudos for Burnley for fighting it up. And by the way, also, <laughs> Vincent Company got also sent off. <laughs> so they were out with the manager and without, with you know, with 10 men on the pitch and still got to get a, an equalizer, mate. <laughs> what a game. Yeah. Right. Yeah, anyway. it's, uh, 
it's the uh, English, the football in at its best also when those yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, things yeah. happen. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Hope you had a lot of your Easter chicken. I don't know. Do, do, do you do like, you know, the, do you color those chicken eggs? I mean, of course, you're from Sweden, yeah. right? We have, we have no choice. You we have, have no to choice. paint. The, we, we have to paint the eggs. Right. Big up, big up. Yali Malmini is in the house. Big up, Yali. It's all games, the drama of Newcastle and West Ham. It's going to be a good day of football. That was preloaded, yeah. So Newcastle, West Ham, 4-3. My God. I didn't watch the game, by the but swear to God. Lucky Singh is here as well, saying we must have energy today. 100%. Run, spin, shoot the ball. And spin. Perhaps Anthony can do this spinster, right? Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it comes to use now. <laughs> the fidget yeah, spinner, yeah. yeah. Fidget spinner. So big up, lucky seeing Lilis United is here as well to say we don't have a chance for top four. Spurs will win. Nah, come on. Stop whinging, man. Come on. Be positive, Lilis. Yalla, yalla. Come on. Listen, Spurs, look at the run of fixtures what Spurs have, right? They're facing all the top four, right? Seriously. If Spurs huffed and puffed, hardly got over the line of a Luton, right? They got a late equalizer. Oh, they get a late winner in 85 son, right? 85, 86. But until then, they were trying and they were playing at home. And guess what? They're playing Arsenal, City. They're playing fucking Liverpool. They're playing fucking everyone, right? Yeah. So it's, evidentially, they're going to fucking drop points. Yeah. And all of those uh, teams have something to play for. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy for them. Yeah, I know. I know, guys. I know what you're feeling. It's it's not been a good, great season. But look, you know, we are getting on the bike, according to my opinion, right? Don't talk about, uh, you know, injuries anymore because there's no excuses at the moment, right? Because everyone is fit. All of a sudden, yeah. everyone is fit except Tyrell Malasia. And God yeah. knows what's going on with Malasia. Yeah, it seemed, it seemed uh, very weird, but he said it's also mental... Yeah, some mental, mental. Uh, issues, and uh, it kind of yeah. it kind of makes sense also when that it's been that long, and we haven't heard anything about him. So it kind of makes sense yeah. that it has to be more than just an injury. So Tom, can I ask you a question? Thomas, yeah. sorry, Tom. Why did I say Tom? It doesn't Thomas. matter. <laughs> Tom. All right, Tom. All right. Listen, uh, barring what you we see in this season, if we finish fifth. And you get Champions League on that. Will you take that, or would you say that it's a um, uh, how do we say it? not good? A failure. Uh, I mean, no, nah, I wouldn't. I mean, I would, depending how the, like from the how the season been so far, if we come fifth, I see it as a, an achievement because yeah, we 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 we've been we've been uphill basically the whole season all the time with all yes. the in injuries all the time yeah, yeah. and uh, how can you even achieve like the highest level with so many no. injuries true and it's been like I mean, every week every something every happens freaking week yeah true true that it is like you're running a, a marathon right uphill yeah. all the time yeah. right and all you want it's, is to you look up the hill and say, when is going to come downhill? But Thomas, let me tell you, right now we're going to see a little bit of a downhill, to be honest. like yeah. you know, We're going to be running a little bit smoother downhill, catching a breath. And yeah, and it's in a vital moment, right? Ten games. This is ten games to play. If you look at our run of fixtures, of course, we are playing today. Brentford is always a tricky one. I'm not afraid mm -hmm. of Ivan Tony, and then we're playing away at Stamford Bridge. But if Burnley can go to Stamford Bridge and get a two-two draw, I mean, we should be able to beat them. Chelsea's been like horrible, and then yeah, have if, I'm, home. yeah. Um, if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm more worried about the game today than Chelsea me too. game. If I'm going to be honest, with yeah, you. me too. Me too. Because Bre Brentford is good on the counter. Yeah, they are. They are. Depends on how we line up, and that's that's the crux. Imran Khan is here. Big up. Happy Saturday. Come on, Manchester United is a must-win game. Attack, 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 attack. More attack. Well, I couldn't agree more than what you're saying, Imran. 100%. We need to attack. But, yeah, coming back to what you said, I have a little bit of um, 
butterflies in my stomach because I know how much this game means to us, right? We cannot afford to slip up, right? Technically, we can if you look at, you know, we deluded before how, you know, the run of fixtures with Spurs, have, there were definitely drop points there, right? But for us to capitalize, we just have to look at ourselves, play our game today. But Brentford is Brentford because the PTSD lives there because we got spanked 4-0 uh, last yeah. time, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And Tony, I yeah, don't like it. But we had to ride the wave of uh, the last victory. And uh, that basically changed what it was. Well, it seems that that victory changed the whole yeah. community into a positive vibe. And and I yeah. bet the the players feel that too. I bet the players They're, feel that. They probably do. That too yeah, and, probably do. yeah and, they do. Uh, they need it. And we all yeah. need it. 100%. Man like man, Lou Tata. Big up, puppy, 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 puppy. Listen, we are co streaming to Poppy's channel. We're co streaming to Mark's channel. We're co streaming to Kenny Fan TV's channel. Um, and by the way, just for your reference, Poppy could not make it today because Poppy is working on a production in Atlanta, but he will come in for the watch along later on as well. So just for your information, anyway. So right now, what you're watching is MEFC Realist TV. Do whatever you're watching which platform you're watching smash that like button hit and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss any live streams dark crow what you saying here my friend now just see how chelsea will perform against us on thursday i'm getting getting through that <laughs> Yeah, we, we already spoken about that. Anyway, big up, uh, big up, big up, big up, Louis en France. Woohoo! How are you? How are you going? Um, three likes. That's no good. Good. Hey, Barman. Good night. <laughs> Is it good night already, Thomas? <laughs> nah, really. It's only eight o'clock. Yeah, it's like we're closing the shop. We lost already. Good night. Close the shop. <laughs> Big up, Barman. How you doing, my friend? Um, I miss these late games also, if I'm going to be honest. I miss I miss yeah. these 9 o'clock games. I kind of miss them. <laughs> yeah, listen. Big up, Gaming Simp. Good to see you here, my friend. Gaming Simp. I, I remember Gaming Simp, like, you know, from uh, Flying Pig Channel. Listen, <sighs> Simpy, hope you're doing well. Listen, I haven't been able uh, to watch Joe for a long time because of the time difference, right? You saying you missed this late games? I said, "Fuck this yeah. late games for me." Uh, yeah, because it's yeah, I know. <laughs> it's three a.m. Yeah. in the morning kickoff. Come on, man! Come on, yeah. it's mental. You're, and then, you're a warrior. To make you a warrior for oh, even, dude. <laughs> getting listen, guys, up in those yeah, ungodly listen, hours. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 uh, hardcore, right? And then five a.m. and for me in the morning, it's going to be about 10 p.m. UK, 11, p 11 p.m. Uh, Central European time. We're doing the post-match reaction. So you probably will see me like this. So, guys, let's hope for a win so that we can have a proper after party because yeah. otherwise it's going to be painful to sit there at 5 a.m. in the morning. Go look at yeah, that was a great game, Thomas. Um, big up to you. Mental ball game, what you're saying here. Looks like Mick rescued his wife from Jason Statham. Yeah, hundred percent. I did, but guess what? I got Rosie, his wife. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just returned back. I spent uh, two days on PP Don, PP Island. I don't know. Have you been to Phuket, my friend? I haven't. I Ever. haven't been to Thailand actually. You should come and visit, my friend. Me, I want to. Kasa. Everyone, I want to. I, I, I it's been a, uh, it's Ooh. been a dream of mine of coming there and train Muay Thai and. Oh shit! Just Aston Villa just went up two nil. No. Yeah, they did. They went up two nil. Oh, anyway, oh, they were dropping. Yeah, no. Seriously, if you want to practice Muay Thai, there's a Muay Thai like you know training centers everywhere. But it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I've been living here for six months, and you take a speedboat over to Dompey Pee Pee Island, 50, mm -hmm. 50 minutes speedboat. Um. But that was the best island ever we visited. So uh, amazing. I've been all around the world. I've been snorkeling in mild dives, everything. But this took mm. the price, to be honest. I mean, the whole uh, zen, the whole vibe, the whole, it was just breathtaking, you know. And we stayed there for two nights. So um, one night, actually, two days. But it was amazing. Yeah, so good. I'm back. I'm back. UK Strain, big up to you, mate. What are you saying? Good evening, Manchester United fans. Good evening to you, UK Strains. How you doing? How you doing? Guys, let us know what you think uh, the score prediction be. 
Do you think it's going to be a goals? Yeah, I I predicted that we're going to score at least two. That's mm. that's my prediction. Oh Jesus! Two minutes. It's classify. Would you, what, Dark Row? What do you what, 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 disclose to me? What you work and what your source of income? <laughs> you never speak about that. My my source of incomes. Um, yeah, I'm semi retired to be honest. Um, I've been working very hard in my life to get what to my point. That's all I can yeah. say. Hard work. I busted my ass to be honest. And my profession right now, um, semi retired. I do contracting, and I try to run this YouTube channel and. Yeah, this is kind of my vanity project at the end of the day. But I do I do take contracts, but you know, um, that's a different story for another stream. Um, stop waffling. I'm not waffling. Am I waffling? I thought you were gonna say uh, your profession is uh, to be an ultimate man. <laughs> uh, my profession that's... is to be a, 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 as good as that... possible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be. My profession is to become the ultimate man. The ultimate man. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You sell samosas, cool. Kebabs, soft drinks, and other bites. Cool. I like kebabs and samosas and stuff like that. Big up a dark row. Um, well, uh, maybe. I mean, the lineups is out right now, guys. Seriously, the lineup is out. Big up. What? Listen, it's out. Was it um what's it yeah, what's he cooking with today? He's cooking Onana in goal, Van Bissaka, Varan, Lindelof, Diego Dalo. So he switched Van Bissaka to the right by the looks of it. Martinez mm -hmm. is not playing, so he's playing with Lindelof and Varan in the so that's a that's a back line. I understand Lindelof is a ball yeah. playing, he's Swedish like us. But yeah. McTominay in the midfield. Fuck me yeah. and Maino. Why? What what's wrong with Casemiro? Casemiro is apparently not on, even on the bench. By the looks of it, okay. No, he didn't mention. Maybe they're taking safety safety measures. Probably you know. against Chelsea. Okay, the 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 front four is the same. Rashford, he probably, hopefully, he's going to be good. Hoyland up front. Bruno Fernandez, Alejandro Ganacho. So guys, the bench is following. Wait a fucking minute. Um, substitute. No, hang on. Yeah, Casemiro is on the bench. Hundred percent. Amrabat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Amrabat, Mount, Lissandra Martin is on the bench. Anton makes the bench. Tom Heaton. Where is uh, where is uh, Altar Bayander? Jesus Christ. Uh, Casemiro, Eriksen, Kwambala, and Maguire made the bench as well. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can see that, Jolly. You know, your bench is... Oh, well, Heaton, Kwambala, Maguire, Martin is Amrabat, Casemiro, Mount. But what's your initial reaction, Thomas? Onana, Van Bissaka, Varane, Lindelof, and Diego mm. Dalot. Back four. Uh, considering the circumstances, I'm quite happy with the back four. Uh, uh, it's always been the midfield for me. Uh, that's it's always been the midfield. I'm uh, maybe he plays Maino uh, more in the Casemiro role and let McTominay, yeah, move it a worked. little bit further up, yeah, like but, Liverpool, but yeah, but it's hard. I mean, it's to put that put that pressure on uh, on Maino is kind of oh uh, yeah yeah sorry yeah. Bayander is injured according to Lilis. Listen, isn't this the same lineup that we played Liverpool with? Uh, yep, I think so. Yeah. Yes, it's the same lineup as Liverpool. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Right, let's look at Brentford then. How do they line up? Um, Flecken in goal. Zanka, Ayer, Collins uh, in the mm. midfield. So they're playing a three in the back and bloody hell, four in the middle with Yarmolik, yeah. Yarmolik, Jensen, Janlet, Roslev, and Lewis Potter up front to playing two, Tony and Wissa, right? So they're, what is this? Three, four, two, or? Yeah, it's a three, four, two. Yeah. So that means that they. They're going to pack down midfield there. Yeah, I think Didn't they the... try to overflow our midfield. But in a way, they're going to park the best as well, by the looks of it. So yeah. how do we see this playing out? Uh, if you look at the, um, the midfield, Zanka, Aya, Collins, don't know much about them, do you? Not really. 
Uh, I just, I just been uh, when I've been watching Brentford. Don't ask me why I watch them, except when they're not playing us. But uh, what, what I've recognized from them, like I said before, they're really good at, at counter, counter they attacks. Yeah, and uh, we have a, uh, and usually our midfield gets a little bit uh, too much space between the defense and the they create a hole in our midfield uh yeah and, uh, they can take advantage of that so we I mean, really have to be aware of that against liverpool scott metomini did a very professional um performance but that was at, at home at old trafford now i'm yeah. afraid if i look at this midfield right four in the back two scott metomini you, you just you basically leaving Maino who has been ill apparently yeah. unprotected so scott yeah. metomini better be on his toes right and bruno fernandez you know yeah i don't know we will see i mean will we attack yeah. will we um, sit back i don't know i don't know i don't know actually it, it seems like we have such a mix of players um that it's hard to and we've been playing so inconsistently so it's really hard to like predict how we're going to play yeah yeah dark row uh, there is the lineup with liverpool yeah it is the lineup if i if i if my memory doesn't uh fail me because the only the only difference is that um the only difference is that they shifted like you know from they shifted the low and and uh, I remember Van Bissaka's positions, right? Because mm. I remember Saka was on the left and he did fantastically on that left side. Um, yeah. but it's dodgy. Right. Yeah. Um it wasn't what we expected, but the bench looks solid. Casemiro is on the bench, Ericsson is on the bench, Anthony is on the bench. Of course, there's no Amadiala because of got red carded. Uh, Mason Mount is on the bench, Sophia and Amrabad. So if if things goes tits up, we do have weapons on the bench, Thomas. So, <clears throat> what do you reckon in terms of scoring right now? It ain't going to be a draw because we never draw against them. No, I think I think we're going to win with two two nil. Two nil, two yeah. nil, right? I, I said think, three uh, one in my prediction. Ganacho is going to score and uh, probably McTominay. <laughs> Dude, dude, he's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's a leading goal scorer. I believe <laughs> yeah. that Hoyland will score today. Big up Craig Warby. Big up everyone. Everyone is coming in raw right now. Everyone is fired up. At least Mount is in prison like Malasia. No, he's not in prison. True, true, true. Jesus. N nil nil Yuki strange. What you saying? Or nil one United win. I don't take I don't take prisoners here, Thomas. I don't take a draw. I only take a win today. Yeah, I mean we we have to win to to uh, yeah. st stay afloat. Yeah, and Lucky's uh, agreeing with you. Have, we just have to, you know, we have to play smart. Okay, um, Lucky is agreeing with you. Zero two, what he's saying. So, how do you reckon we will play then? I mean, how how do we beat Brentford? It's basically, I mean, we're playing away. We usually don't dominate when we're playing away. Do you reckon we'll just sit back and try to hit them on the counter? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't. I, I hope. I hope we're gonna take the charge. I hope we're gonna uh, conduct the game because yeah. we have the capability of doing that. Yeah. And uh, Rajat is we have three players. Team, yeah. yeah, we do. And we have we have players that are technically capable of, you know, breaking up a defense. It's just that they have to put a shift in. Yeah, and that's basically it. That's it. I mean, I mean, their we, midfield, their midfield. I know Jensen, of course, Danish Jensen and Roslip as well from from Denmark. But uh, Louis Potter, Ivan Tony, yeah, Ivan Tony is a danger man, hundred percent. But yeah. depends on who we're gonna pair up Tony on. If it's Lindelof, we are toast. Yeah, I think uh Veron will take yeah, care of Tony. Yeah, I think so. I think I hope Veron does it because okay. His uh, his game uh, 
his game, uh, how do you say, gameplay, like the, he reads the game way better. Uh, yeah, yeah. Victor Lindelof, he's, 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 he's doing the, he's, he's like a defender, he's doing the basic stuff. Yeah, what a he's defender more needs carrier. to do. Yeah, he's more of a, he, he's the ball carrier. Yeah, but listen, you have Licha. Like you know, if 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 he goes tits up, I believe Licha is going to get game time in the second half. I believe so. Um, let so. me go to the, yeah. Let me go to the comments, guys. Let us know what you think. Are you happy with the bench? Um, I believe that starting eleven is fair enough because you don't want to throw in like you know Lissandra Martinez first thing that you do. You don't want to throw in Casemiro first thing that you do returning from the injuries. But I'm a little bit surprised that Mason Mount's been fully fit, but he hasn't kicked the ball for. I don't know, nine months or something. I don't know. Properly, properly, properly. Anyway, um, Rajat is saying 3 2 to United, I believe so. And 2 1 is what Yali is saying to United. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. I believe 3 1 to United at the end of the day. I believe Rasmus Hoyland will score, Ganacho will score, and uh, maybe a Bruno. It's about time Bruno scores. Mm -hmm. Or McTominay. <laughs> Probably McTominay. Mackers. Mackers will <laughs> score. Come on. <laughs> okay, UK Strange. We only scored 39 goals this season in the league. Yeah, I know. I know. But you all guys know why in a certain sense. Like, you know, we only lived on one striker, to be honest. Yeah. Right? And he, he didn't show up until Christmas. So, yeah. It has been a little bit weird one. So, the fact that we are sitting sixth in the league and staring at potentially get into top four um six points apart at the moment i think uh, i think it is six points right yeah it is yeah yeah yeah. because west ham is also played i mean aston villa played one one game more than us as well so yeah no, i mean i'm i'm just uh to be in sixth place as it's been it's been so dysfunctional this whole season so yeah. so even to be at sixth place is just like I thought we were gonna be like in tenth, but we we just scrap those results and we just just win the game. Those it doesn't even matter how you win it because we're not we're not in that so, place yet where you can judge so, us by the yeah. type of performance we expect. No, no, hundred percent. I, I totally agree. Like you know, mental ball game agrees with, with me. My uh, score prediction is three one. But to be honest, Thomas uh, and guys in the VR room, I don't care how you play, as long as you get the win. <laughs> That's all I care about. Three points. Style of play goes out the window today. Like I just want to see bloody three points. And eventually, what we did against Liverpool, they might work, right? Um, that we press high up on the pitch. But mind the gap, mind the gap, because they're very fast in the transition, very good at counterattacking. And this is Thomas Frank we're talking about, the Danish coach. Yeah. But Brentford's been a little bit weird one this season as well, the yo yo team. Yeah, they have. Yeah. yeah. They've, it's like, like you're seeing the uh... same. Yeah. Pacey and sketchy in the back. Yeah. I think as, as long as we uh, can find a way, we have. We have... I mean, we have speed at the wings. We have speed there. And I think we should take advantage of that, especially in this game, uh, since they only have three in the back. And we should take advantage yeah. of the of the speed we have in the, uh, on the wings. Wow, and, wow, uh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, no, 100%. UK streams. Would you take Europa League next season? Um, I despise Europa League, but... And conference league. Yeah, it's like yeah. I mean, if it's like what what are we supposed to if we get Europa League? We'll get it. It's like yeah, giddy giddy giddy. Pick up Jamie, brother. To, <laughs> yeah, you don't have yeah. to like it, but we, if we play, Listen, we play. I I I I'm gonna be positive, right? A little bit nervous because I know what's on stake today, but. If we lose today, I, I am not going to be nice in my post-match reaction, right? I'm not. There's no, there's no excuse, right? You got to capitalize on this one. You got to capitalize about Chelsea, and then you're going into Liverpool at home again. So I believe we're going to do a number on Liverpool again, and that will be amazing to see. Yeah, I would just love that. That that oh, would be so. Whoa. I just <laughs> just the enjoyment. 
yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see the Liverpool salty tears they missed out on <laughs> the manager. <laughs> yeah, and I'm hopefully, you know, the the butcher in Casemiro plays that game, so it's going to be different then. Oh, yeah, it's going to be it's different. Be different. Yeah, and I know. Villa is winning two 0 Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. And I bet you know Klopp want to have that revenge. Yeah. Um, big up UK strains mentioned we never uh, turn up after the international break. I hope we will, but you know, barring that we had momentum, barring that we had that positive four uh, three win, that was what a game, game yeah. of the century. Yeah, my God, you had everything. So the players should be mentally ready to go in there, and and they shouldn't underestimate the Brentford, right? Mind the gap, mind the gap. But yeah. if we if we bottle this, like you know, fuck, I'm gonna be angry to be honest. Can I lie? Yeah, yeah, because it's these types of games you should win. I mean, you're playing again. If you play against the top four, you can draw these. You can draw those games if mm. you have to. But it's when you play teams like Brentford or the lower teams. In the table, you have to win those games. Yeah, you I have to win those you. games. That's how you win. Um, that's how you win the league. You just win those games. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have to play good as long as you, you know, get the points, and, and that's yeah. how you win the league, hundred percent. And you always don't. I mean, yeah, people that win the league, it's like you know, you're scraping. Sometimes you're not playing good, as you said, but you get the three points. And big up Jarvis. Hey, Jarvis in the house. See you later, Jarvis. How are you doing? Jarvis, if you want to come in, pop in and have a say. You have the administration right. So just come in and talk to us, 100%. Um, right. Let's up the tempo. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, why not? Yeah, we yeah, have to play not? our rock and roll. Pedal to the metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep the ball, keep the ball uh, close to your feet and just don't make any stupid passes. No stupid Bruno. Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <Bruno>. <laughs> Rashford. Yeah, a Rashford track back, track back, please, Rashford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been carrying I, I, enough. I I remember in the in the Liverpool game, Diallo was a key factor to those to those. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, goals where he he was tracking back. And he, he was tracking did. back like his life depended on it. Yeah. And that's what that's what changed the whole game. Yeah. Hundred percent. Oh, Simon Davis going with two one to Brentford. Sorry, dudes. Hey, we will see Simon. Uh, I hope you're not right. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. But the thing is, if the media is reporting that he's been carrying on Ox since February, since um Nottingham Forest, why why is he playing? Yeah, I don't know. Well, is that just yeah. an excuse? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. It's really hard to uh, to even trying to figure out what what's going on with certain players and with the team, and you mm. know, it's it's so much, it's so much BS paper paper. Talk. I know, it's, man. I know, I know. You don't Jordan really know. Wolves. Yeah, big up Swedish brother here from Karlstad. What's up? Happy Easter to you, my friend, as well. Come on, United. Big up Jordan. Jordan all the way from Karlstad, Sweden. Have you ever been to Karlstad? Yeah, I've been there. It's a it's cool nice country. little... Yeah, it's a nice little town. 100%. It's a 100%. very friendly people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy Easter to you too, Duke of Town. 1705 to those in the chat who celebrate. Well, what is Easter to celebrate? I mean, for me, I mean, Christmas is more special to me than Easter, to be honest. Yeah, I guess it depends on uh, what type of uh, Christian you are. If you're a mm -hmm. Protestant or Orthodox Duke. or... I'm Orthodox. Uh, Born Orthodox. Well, yeah. But well, you don't have the same uh, Easter then at the same time, right? No, no, no. My see, my parents goes by the old calendar, the old Gregorian mm -hmm. Greg, before they change the things up. So um, that means that it's I think it's about ten days 
apart, something like that. Yeah. From the original. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But anyway. Anyway, so everyone, if you're fasting, Ramadan uh, Karim, and hope you broke your fast as well. So all big respect to you. And Duke, I see you. Same to you, Duke, as well. Big up for coming in as well. And let's be positive, man. We're a little bit positive. I think we're going to win. But there's football in God's. <laughs> don't want to yeah. jinx it. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to piss them off. But uh, yeah, but no. But I, I think it, you know that since the last game we had, I think that energy still, still is there. I think. Yeah. They want to come back. They want to come back. It's like, just ride that wave, for as long as you yeah. can. Just ride oh. it. Ride it. Ride that bullet. You know what? Yeah. We should give the four nil back to them as a gift, right? You you spanked us four nil. Now we're gonna pump you with four nil back, right? Yeah, why not? That's perfect. I'm... All right, like how many hat trick? <laughs> oh my god, Dortmund might have given Leverkusen in the title two nil up. Kane just scored, but he's he was offside. The Kane curse lives. Yeah, uh, came to yeah. buy Munich, didn't go that well. <laughs> Uh, what you're saying, Simon, eh, regarding the team, etc., it's simple. There's going to be big changes. Easter is the time when things spring to life. Yeah. As I always say, like, you know, Premier League or any league in general, like in league, it's it's not a sprint. It's always a marathon. It's, it's mm. how you finish off the season. Now yeah. is the crunch time. Now is this quickie bomb bomb time. Now it's how the league is going to shape, who's going to win, who's going to finish top four. It's always at this time of the year, around Easter. Would you agree with yeah. me? Yeah, it's uh, everybody says around March, April, that's where you that's where you have to have uh, patience and that's when you have to really put in a shift also. It's basically yeah. now, the league starts now. <laughs> the now. The now. Yeah. yeah. And um, big one tomorrow, man. The, 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 that can be a title decider. Yeah, I I think they're Arsenal. gonna. I think Arsenal's gonna win. I think Arsenal will win. They have John yeah, Stones injured, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think they will win. I, I've been talking. Some of my friends are Arsenal fans, and oh, they really, Arsenal. and they're really doubtful. Uh, they doubt it. Like, oh, it's gonna be hard. Like, yeah, I didn't say it was gonna be easy, but I think you guys gonna win. But they they doubt they seem to doubt their team a little bit. But I I was like, ah, oh, I think you guys can win. You have a strong team. You can win. City yeah. ain't that good. No, no, I don't think City will win. I don't think City will win. I we've been through this discussion before, and if I had to choose, I'd probably go Arsenal for some reason. Yeah. I just don't. I hate Liverpool so much, and. I'm just yeah. happy that we spoiled the 4P, and I hopefully we're going to spoil the dreams even bigger. And I'm just laughing because um, Javier Alonso said no, he's staying at Leverkusen, and I'm great. That means that yeah. they can have a Southgate. Yeah, they can take him. They well, can like take, take him. <laughs> <laughs> Push Southgate. No, have a little bit of a Southgate. Um, yeah, Tottenham will lose games. That's what I'm saying. Like, look. look if you know, you know. You know, Tottenham will play, play City, Arsenal, Liverpool. Ain't no chance they're going to win over them. No, no way. Right? No way. There's no way they're going to win over them. As long as they win yeah. against Liverpool, I'm fine. Yeah. Listen, Bayern is finally losing the title. Oh, my God. What, it's been, what, 11 years since they lost the title? They've been winning yeah. 11 years consecutive in a row. Yeah, it's kind of, you know... That's it's a, a little it's a little bit ridiculous <laughs> it is man <laughs> you know like what they do monopoly on that whole league yeah they buy it they, they're just like a massive hoover machine like a vacuum cleaner they just make yeah. sure they buy up everything they look oh this is a good manager let's take him oh this is a good player let's take him like you know it's that that's how they win the league yeah they buy everything. and everybody everybody there seems want to go you know they have champions league and it's by munich and of course but i mean you know some i don't know that the the bundesliga has been weird to me yeah it's a little it's a little it was a little bit you know when juventus won like seven years in a row 
in Serie A or something like that. It was like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> What's yeah. the point? Yeah, big up. I think uh, Javier Alonso is going to replace uh, Carl Ancelotti in Madrid. Yeah. Next year. That, seem, that, seem, that seems like a logic move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, Real Madrid, um, that's such a great team. They yeah. always seem to do. They all seem to do, and and they are like the only ones that they will buy those Galacticos. Play, they will pay like you know mega bucks for players yeah. just to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. But this uh, now they have a lot of young youngsters that we could have uh, bought. But uh, yeah, we're our owners yeah, yeah. here, so <laughs> yeah. Hey, big up, Mark. Oh, you, Mark is coming in very soon as well to join us as well. Uh, I believe he was out having some Easter eggs with his wife or something, but he's coming in. He's coming in. It's only you and me. Um, guys, if you want to come in and have you say, here's the link. Hang on. Let me just paste it in the chat. And let's have a call in. Let us know your feelings, what you think about this game today. Boom. Boom, shakalak. Boom. Here we go. Posted. Link is posted, and here we go. Football Power Hour is also coming in as well. Here's the link. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that was the wrong link. That was Compost Murph. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's in the chat. Call in if you want to come in and talk to us. Um, it'll be a pleasure to hear fans' opinions as well, what you think about the lineup and the score prediction and everything else. How is everyone doing? Um, well, we're waiting for you, Mark. Um, hope everyone is excited for the game. Yeah, I am. Hoyland uh, kicks the ball tonight. Question is, which ball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he, he needs to, if we're going to be honest with it's been uh, also documented that he doesn't get the service he needs. So no, man, it's been they really need to, but the other players really need to step their game up and start l looking for him and no, uh, start work, start work with him because he has not been uh, treated fairly, or so to speak, in the playing aspect of the game. Yeah, and that's why I'm critical of uh, Rashford, to be honest. Um, because Rashford, for me, I, I don't have any hatred. Like, I'm just looking at the team and the balance, and he's just like, for me, he's just egoistic, right? He doesn't yeah. want to cross the ball. And if it's a cross, he happens to be a misfired shot. And, you know, he doesn't really cross. He's not a winger. He's just an inverted striker. Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what's going on in his head. If I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. He 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 seems they. How do you, how how can I say this so it's not sound so I'm not sounding like a hater. <laughs> uh, he's fat and I happy. Mean, yeah, I don't. I just I just think that. Just, I mean, if you want to play ball, play ball. Stop with this dribbling, holding on to the ball. Yep, true. Just make simple, logical passes. You're yep. a winger. I mean, he used to do that. He used to, like, break in. He used to, like, one, two, and then shoot and stuff. Like, he used to make sense. But now he just mm. hold on to the ball, just looking down. He's, like, the most easiest guy to defend against. Yeah. It's like everybody knows what you're you know gonna what do. you're gonna do <laughs> true anyway so um yeah true that true that currently if we look at the league table right now um with aston villa being two up they played one one game more than us um they on played 30 games they're on 59 spurs won but spurs gonna lose as well if you look at the run of fixtures what villa has right let's have a look yeah. boom 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 Right, so Villa is playing uh, this Wednesday. Manchester City, that's going to be a loss. Yeah, they're going to lose that. <laughs> yep. Then they're playing at home against Brentford, right? Then they're going mm -hmm. to go to Europa Conference League, and then they have Arsenal. Right. Yeah, two game. And I think they're going to lose that game too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. So... Listen, Spurs then. <laughs> Yo, this is not a joke what Spurs have. West Ham, the bogey team away mm -hmm. at West Ham Stadium. 
Spurs playing at home against Nottingham Forest. And Nottingham Forest is not a pushover either. Newcastle away. Now, here comes Oof. the tricky one. Spurs versus City. Spurs versus Arsenal. Liverpool versus <laughs> Spurs. <laughs> Burnley. All right. Man, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, out of those games... They're gonna uh, they're gonna lose at least three of those those games. Yeah. That's what three nine 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 points. Yeah. Hmm. The nine points are they, they're gonna lose the nine points at least. And, the nine uh, points. We're gonna win everything. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we win all the games remaining that's left. Yeah, that would be so great. Yeah, that would be so great. Yeah, I lucky I could not say it were I wanted to say they've been dog shite, to be honest. Chelsea. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what they're doing. I have no, no idea disrespect. what they're doing. No disrespect, but they are like, you know, pfft. and Spurs are being Spurs as per usual, even if they have Ange Postacoglio, right? They were bottled yeah. it. Like, you know, the way they were if, playing against Luton today, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna be honest with when 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 they start talking about like the big teams and like the top four, it was usually teams that you know that was always up there challenging, you know, doing something. I don't even know why Spurs is in is even in that conversation. They haven't mm. won anything. They have not. Like, I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe they won like the FA Cup or something in like before when I was born or something like that. But <laughs> that was they're, ages they're not. Moment. You know, they're not. They just that team because they have money. That's why they're talking about them, but they haven't achieved anything. So That's it's true. like, it, I'm like when people talk about Spurs. And they put them in the conversation with us, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, like it's it's like don't comparing. Even, don't even put <laughs> yeah, it's like that. comparing Mayweather to uh, some rich kid that just practiced boxing. It's like you can't even compare it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, true, true, true. true. Um, trying to figure out. Um... What happened here? Anyway, well, we, I know we're playing Arsenal. I know we're playing Arsenal. We're playing Newcastle away. I mean, we should beat Newcastle. They're sitting on a 10th. They've been just falling off the cliff lately. Yeah, they have. And, uh, you know, we probably disrupted when we're trying to take their director of football too. So <laughs> we've yeah. been, they've been hit in, uh, in all types of angles. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, and they have been. And no wonder they're being salty, right? And Tonali, yeah. um, the gambling charge seems to be it's going to be longer out than expected, right? Yeah, but I mean, you know, they uh, they gotta take that. Is I mean, no, like nobody in the in the Premier League that has a hard time gets any sympathy from me. They can't complain about anything. Nope. <laughs> they get no sympathy from me. Nope. Like what we had like fifty injuries this season or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. In yeah. All when I, yeah, and I and I tell people that, and they were like, "What? Fifty injuries? It's like what's going on?" I was like, "Exactly. Stop complaining because <laughs> you have no, you get no sympathy from me. No, no sympathy. Way. No. No, you're not." You're absolutely getting nothing from us. Seriously. No. Seriously. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can take the shit. Gattuso, yeah. we love you. True? Yeah. Oh, man. Seriously. One, uh, so One of the greatest footballers ever in the city. Oh, Gattuso I love is him. amazing. Yeah. I love him. I mean, back in the days, there used to be ballers. There used to be proper footballers. Right? Now we're just looking at prima donnas, like porcelain yeah. mentality. And paid millions. Yeah. yeah. Right? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, that's why that's... I'm, that's why I'm impressed with the this um rec new recruitment policy or strategy, what they're having. They're looking at players, they're not gonna recruit anyone 
uh, over 26. So basically looking at the next up and coming stars, building a team for the future. I like yeah. that. Just they should. Yeah, bringing players you haven't heard about before, like you know, wow, this uh, Argentinian centre back, the best centre back in the world in in in, in South America at the moment, you yeah. know, Aaron Anselmino, right? Very good, very very good. And I don't know. And, uh, do you know about? Uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, Toribo. A lot, a lot of you know, the United scouting team. Uh, ha we haven't t taken in so many from South America. Like other because teams. because they've been inept, right? The, the the scouting network is massive, but it's just been putting on a pile, right? Mm. And at the end of the day, the recruitment strategy is to look at does he sell any shirts? Never heard of him. Like Casado yeah. was offered to United for seven million euros. Yeah, yeah. John Merton just laughed at him and said, oh, "This doesn't sell me shirts. Yeah. Fuck off." <laughs> so. But that's a little bit of a change of policy because I've been a big advocate of you know looking at the grassroots leagues. There's so many hidden gems, and it's low risk, you know. Yeah, yeah, they you have great players over there. Yeah, but what you're currently looking at to look at the mentality first and foremost, right? Okay, you're a baller. Uh, you don't come here for the paycheck, but what is your mental status and how is your injury record? You know, don't mm -hmm. sign anyone that's injury prone. Don't send, sign anyone that has a ego, right? You sign players that want to play for the team, team players. Yeah. That's why I see is key. I I really thought it was like uh, when they were talking about Calcedo, I really thought that would have been such an easy signing for us because since we had Valencia and he's also from Ecuador, so it, w it would have been like, he was like, hey, call, call Valencia up, go over there, talk to that guy. It would have just been like this. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I know, I, mean, I know, I know. Yeah, I've been I've been I've been on the intermediate market as well, so I know exactly like you know what what's going on there and how it's been. So when Ollie came out and spoke about it, you know, openly in the year overlap, yeah, it was no surprise to me because they basically appointed a crowd please it to say we have a director of football but they weren't no yeah. director of football right it was just a puppet right yeah a technical director or a sporting director called darren fletcher was spotted like in putting on cones and training taking charge of training the fuck <laughs> to be honest yeah. so this whole this whole overlap or the whole overhaul needs to be done properly right you get you start building from the top and work your way to the bottom right so yeah, at the end of the day, MUFC, what are you up to? Compost Murph, not what Ratcliffe has spoken, has been interviewed about this situation. Yeah, he's he's spoken that it's not the manager's fault. The United have good coaches, stuff like that. I'm not defending Ratcliffe whatsoever. You know, I want full sale only. I want glazes out. Yeah. You know, but one thing is that with this 27.5 percent. Glazers don't have any any responsibilities over the football operations, so that's pretty cool, right? And at the I end mean, of the day, you just gotta take it. I mean, uh, everybody wanted full sale, yep. but we just gotta deal with it. I'm I'm just waiting for him. I'm not I'm not like overly uh, excited because I have to be. I have to, I'm standing more reserved because. He's talking big, big game, Radcliffe. But he he needs to he needs to prove it. Deliver, yeah, yeah. He I needs mean, to deliver on that. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, you know, now the spotlight is on them. To be honest, like, yeah, you better deliver what you said you would deliver, right? Otherwise, the lynch mob is coming. You know, yeah. Shit, am I? Did I disappear? A little bit, but you're back now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about the internet, guys. Sometimes, yeah. So the roadmap must be clear. Like you know, there's, then there has to be a way, if it's Ineos, to buy them out, right? Yeah, I, I, that's. I hope there's a plan. 
I really hope there's a plan because we're gonna we're gonna we can reach a certain amount like a certain limit but it's never mm. going to be at the highest level because we have glazers there yeah it's like nobody Guys. like cares about the marketing the marketing t is already done mm. like we it, that will take care of itself because then we're winning everything we don't need yeah. marketing to win football games no, 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 100%. No, we don't need marketing and we don't need a PR fucking team that posts us, you know, the, the, the player of the day in training, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like nobody bullshit. cares about that. Who cares about that? Yeah. Listen, you, at the end you, of the day, I just no, want to see good football. I just want to yeah. fucking see results. That's all I want to fucking see. Right? Yeah. I don't care about I any just, player I, interview or any of no, like that. No. no it's no, no, It's no. irrelevant. What, like, I'm a I don't realist. Care what so I, I, I realist, realistically, I'm speaking at results. That's that's what I want to see. I realistically understand that fuck, we haven't had the personnel to play the style of play, and therefore the buck stops there. You say, okay, yeah. we are playing haram football at the moment, but you know that the light at, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. If you look at yeah. how many youngsters been introduced under Ten Hag, a lot, right? You look at the previous manager, did they introduce any players? No, from the academy, not much, right? So if you're going to go developing youth, then you, it makes no sense to replace the manager. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, he's a fraud, blah, blah, blah. How can he be a fraud when he was a success the first season, winning a yeah. trophy and finishing third, and before he came, it's that rotation period, I guess, right? The most idiotic thing, in my opinion, we can do right now is get rid of him. That's the most. Let's do, let's do the thing that we haven't done before with the managers. Keep. Let's give him a proper, proper backing, and proper development, and then after right. that, we can you can yeah. say whatever you want to say about him. But let's we haven't yeah. done that before, so let's do that instead. Yeah, exactly. Big up DJ and, Superfly. Yep. Sorry. And uh, who are we gonna get if he if he's not the guy? Then who are we gonna get? There's nobody out there. Yeah, hundred percent. I can see the chat. You stop trolling each other. Be nice to each other. It's match day. I see. I can see. I can read what you're doing. Right. Uh, it's it's not nice. I know. I know what you're saying, guys. But let's focus on the game. Big up to all of you. Fucking hell. I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting nervous. It is what? Uh, Twenty minutes to kick off. Whoa. Right, fishy fish, my God. Listen, uh, at the end of the day, stay online, stay with us. Guys, you've been amazing. Thank you. Oh, my God. Fishy fish just gifted five membership. And I know who fishy fish is. That's a fatty, fatty donut. You changed your name. <laughs> Big up fishy fish. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Listen, um, Barman was gifted a membership by Fishy Fish. Evo Bossage, you also legend got gifted a membership. Pete Reed as well. Red J as well, you legends. And Jamie Wayne. No, Jamie Wayne. No, it is, but that's about one, two, three, four. Yeah. Did I miss anyone? No. Big up. Thank you, Fishy Fish or um, Fatty. Big up. Big up. Big up. Big up. Thank you so much. Listen, let's just be positive. Fuck's sake. Let, oh, I'm, I'm getting sweaty now. We're gonna Why? we're gonna win. We're gonna win. I think All we're right. gonna win. Ride that right away from Liverpool. Ride that way. Hey, ride the bullet. Hey, ride the bullet. Yeah. yeah, big up. Uh, where is the watch along team crew? Where are you? You're supposed to be here, right? We're talking about you, Marky Mark. Where are you? Kenny fan TV, come in. Guys, if you want to have a say again, um, nobody nobody took the bait, Thomas. Like, I posted on the link to come in and speak to us. Nobody wants to come. Maybe they just want to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, posted in the... Anyone wants to come in and have a say, welcome, welcome. Um, if you're drunk, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But not like, you know, flat ass. Um, right. Um, so... Did the uh, game? Fi yeah, the game finished right now. Uh, no, it was ten minutes extra time, wasn't it? Uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, it's done. Full time. 2 0 Aston Villa. Wolves. <laughs> right. But tomorrow is the big one. Arsenal, bloody going away against yeah. City. That's going to be a battle. Looking forward for that one. Why are they talking about uh, getting that Gomez guy from Wolves? So that was just uh, another BS. The Shao Which Gomez. One? Shao from Gomez. Wolves. I don't know. They, I, I haven't heard that. Um, and this Brentwaite kid that they want silly money for. I don't think we're going to pay that. No fucking way. For 20 year old. No. Right. No, I like him, but we're not yeah, going to I mean, go in there and pay that type of. Yeah. It's, it's because we're Manchester United. That's why. Yeah, they're going to try. They're going to try. Amadou Onana. Yeah. I think it's better than Onana, to be honest. Palinia. Yeah, I don't. I don't want. No, no, no I don't. And no. underrated. Now, nah. Kim Min Ye. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, him. Why not? Yeah, why not? Mason mm. Mount. I want spin. Spin. Yes, yes. I want to see more of Mason Mount. To be honest, right? We signed Mason Mount, but we haven't seen much of Mason Mount. No, I don't know why, but injury, but. At the end of the day, mate, like, you know, we know his quality when he's fully fit and match prepared, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, is, he was really good at Chelsea. Like, really good. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Guys, love you all. Listen, win, lose, draw. It's just a game. I know football. I take football seriously, but I just learned, Thomas, that ain't going to ruin my life. Yeah? No, you got to. You get a, you win some, you lose some. That's just the way it goes. Yo, sure. And uh, you can't take it too seriously because then it's, you know, it's going to consume, consume you. Hey, dude, here comes some positivity for you. Right with an uppercut, Ian McDonald say, what up, folks? I feel a clean sheet is coming in four goals today. Oh, my God. We are actually returning the 4 nil back to them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love so. that. Big up, Ian. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, later, Mick. Later to you um, as well. Man, what can I say? A clean sheet would be nice. Yeah. A 4-0 would be nice. But as I said earlier, a victory for me, this is all that I want. I don't, I don't take a draw lightly, knowing where we are in the table, because we are on the hunt now. Easter egg hunt. Yeah. They, I think they're more nervous than we are actually the ones above us because they know they know what we are we're bringing. capable of and yeah. the, you know the game against liverpool that that shook the football world last they did. time 100%, everybody they did. shook now because because they see the the giant is slowly waking up again yep it's payback with time. All the, yeah with all the things that goes goes around uh, our club and hopefully it goes well they're nervous. They Yo. are nervous. Yo, 100%, man, 100%. Um, hold the fort. I'm just going to see where everyone else is. Um, talk to the fans. I'm just going to message Mark to see whether he did it, did he? Mm. Uh, hang on a second, mate. Um, so, guys, let us know in the chat what you think and what is your score prediction for today. Do you think we're going to get a clean sheet? And in that case... Uh, where's the goals coming from? Who's going to score first? Will it be Erasmus Hoyland? Who's going to score the f goal first goal? What do you reckon, Thomas? Mm, I think Ganacho is going to score. Ganacho? Yeah. Ganacho and McTominay. That was my really? uh, prediction. Cool. 4 2 to Man United. But like, come on, DJ, come on. Come on, bring it on. 4-2 United. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 0-2 Lucky Singh. Who's going to score first, though? I mean, Hoyland? I believe Hoyland. I don't know. That would be great for him. Rasmatas. To get to get his yep. uh, scoring going on. Yeah. He needs that. What do you think about Ian McDonald saying here? This is a nice warm up for uh, uh, for the Liverpool game, putting a big old dent in their title ambitions. Yeah, I love that. 
<laughs> Fonil United, Rashford Dublin, Nacho and Rasmus Hoyland for the first. Rashford double. Like a double shot tequila? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, come on, man. Let's go. Let's do this. I feel a little bit more positive. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, Ivan Tony? No one. What do you think? We, domest will end up? we domesticated the wolves now, so it's no worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All language is acceptable, Jamie. I can see you just passionate. That's what we are here. We're just passionate. Like, you know, come on. It's getting closer. 10 minutes to kick off, guys. It looks like I'm going to be able to do this. Where is all my watch alongers? Where are you guys? They just disappeared. They're getting frightened. I don't know. Maybe they are stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic. Yeah. Hundred percent. Wait a minute. And uh, do, 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 do. nope. Nobody's responded. Looks like I'm at the end of the day. I might have to do a watch along here by myself. I'm not a good watch alonger. <laughs> no, you want to focus on the game. You want to focus completely focus on the game, right? Yeah, so I, to... I'm. I'm not the best on doing watch alongs. I suck at doing them, right? No. Yeah, I, yeah but if if I'm doing it, I've never done by myself but if i do that means that nobody else is spoiling the uh, you know when you do it with somebody there's always 30 seconds delay or yeah. they're in front of you right so ooh, yeah you know you yeah, live in the no. moment you just want to ah you know what i mean yeah i know what you mean bro yeah it's, but it's... I, I always like to really just focus on the game and if i can be alone in the room then uh, that would be the best. Yeah, I, I, I sit with my stereo, big fat ass stereo headsets, and I'm just yeah. like, oh, John Johnson is feeling. Oh, when John Johnson coming in here to say he's feeling confident, then I'm starting to get confident. I feel confident. Thank you, John, hundred percent. Listen, Broskis, um, where are you guys? We the the way we are setting up this stream is that we are combining the warm up, the lineup, and then. The second part of the crew come in and do the watch along. They are hopefully they will come, but I need in that case if they're not coming, I need to prep for that as well. Because right now I don't see the TV screen in front of me, so I will have it on the other monitor. May not kicking the ball. Uh, what are you saying here? Uh, the ball out. That's good. Yay! Big up. Mayno was ill, not injured. Yeah, well, we'll get this. We we'll get this, guys. We we'll get this. It's Brentford. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Um, hang on a second, mate. Uh, let me just see if I can pull this up. Hang on a second. So, guys, thank you. And don't forget to hit that like button, please. It's so important that you do. Until then, let me just kick off my other application to see. Just prepping for the worst if I have to do the watch along about myself. Mm -hmm. Because I, I believe that you will not be here for the watch along comments. I, you, you probably will. Close you in, in your man cave and watch yeah. it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Fully That's focused. What we have. Man caves. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah man. Ooh, God, God, God. Um, yeah, listen, I'm probably the worst you can watch a you know, game with because I'm so fucking nervous. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And when we do score, how do you celebrate, Tom? Uh, I usually. Uh scream uncontrollably and yep. uh, can control my limbs or feelings <laughs> yeah true and Mate. i apologize afterwards <laughs> i yeah, get struck do? by the holy ghost <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah i know listen i am the worst possible ever um the reason per se is that i scared the dog right yeah the, like, yeah, the dog I can always imagine. Gets yeah, big up Shay. Big up to you, man. Listen, I am absolutely horrible. Like, and my wife just goes like, "You scared the dog." <laughs> I don't care. We scored. Yeah, <laughs> we scored. Take the dog out then, or something. <laughs> you can't. I mean, you can't control yourself. Yeah, you can't. true that. 
to that. Just, it's it's the ultimate uh, like ultimate rush of uh, endorphins. It's like <laughs> it wow. goes from zero to a hundred real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. True that. True that. Well, there's no other, and and when we lose, fuck, you know, it's, I'm yeah. a very sore loser to be honest, right? Me too. It, it stings for days, but this week yeah. against Liverpool, I'm still on that cloud yeah. seven. It's been like seven days. Yeah. And I'm still gone. It's it's been it's been one of the greatest matches in these last ten years. I think that was the greatest one for me. Yeah, hundred percent, Shay. And Arsenal saying that he thinks that uh, United will win 2-1. Shay, wish you luck tomorrow, man. You need it, yeah. 100%. Arsenal City. I thought I never said yeah. this, but it, I hope Arsenal wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, yeah. Oh, I know. Um. Well, I just, I just don't want anyone else to win. So big up, Drex. One of the watch alongers are here. How are you doing, Drexy? Yo, I'm all right. How are you doing? Yo, yo, yo. I thought you were all under me here. No, 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 no. I was afraid. I was afraid I had to do a watch along. No. <laughs> Big up, Thomas. How are you doing? I'm all right. <laughs> all right. right. Drex, it's your it's your part of the show. I think you have uh, Marks coming in as well. Yeah, I Mark, think you Mark have is coming in, yeah. Sachiv as well. Here. Poppy's working. He's going to come in in the second half, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, my Tommy, man. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna, I want to thank you, Mick, for letting me on, man. You're I'm going to go anytime. now and prepare. Me too. And, uh, powder my nose. Uh, sorry? Yeah, I'm going to powder the nose what you say in the bathroom. But yeah, go yeah, for a yeah. Smoke <laughs> have a coffee and... Yeah. Okay, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, you, man. Oh, Cheers, no, buddy. Guys. Bye bye. Don't say that. We are not usually terrible. No, don't say that. Smurf, don't say that. <laughs> All right. Drexy, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving the keys to you. Oh, no, I cannot leave the keys to you. Mark would come on, I believe. Oh, right. So maybe Mark you... will come. Yeah, so maybe you just get backstage. I can't. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm I'm backstage, but you, you cannot control the comments, and right? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, it's fine. All right, you just do the watch along, and I'll be yeah. here in the background. Man. I All I right. need to basically set up my TV. Something happy. You see network connections there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother Yoko. All right, you be here. Yeah. Good, good. I'm Guys, here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm Drex here. is here, and Drex will control. The controls and let's let's spin it. All right, I'm just gonna. All right, guys, it is. Yeah, I'm keeping Mark. It's here. Big up, my bro. What up, guys? What up? You what come up? to what save up? the fucking day. Let's go. <laughs> you have the I'll controls. Be here on time. I told you guys I'll be here on time. Yeah, you're on time. Come off. on, man. You know what time. it is. I must be here, guys. I must be here. Can't kick off the Manchester game without the most part of the time. Right. I'm in the background. I'm leaving right now. But as soon as you score, I'll be back screaming. You know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me, bro? All right. Big up, Marky. Everyone, big up, have Alec, a big up, Drex. Great, man. What's good, yeah, my bro? Man, just big to up, play, bro. Thanks for the save. You know what I you're mean? You're doing the 3 5 2, man. I'm convinced Rival fans design. This green and white strap. Nah, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. that hey, small. This is the baddest kit we have in a long time. Yo, I, li I like I like this kit. I don't know why people I don't don't kit, bro. I got I bought to order this kit for I swear. I don't know why people don't like this kit. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Where is my telegram? Let me see. Put my telegram on right there. Yeah. I love this kit. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's me though, but I love this bro. Kit. You long sleeve in this kit. I'm about to get one, bro. Yeah. In a few games, I'll be by the time I come back from Spain. I'll be rocking the kit, bro. I promise, man. I'm gonna order that kit in the morning. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Yeah, I put I the lineup yeah. looking decent, man. You know, I watch it. Yeah, the lineup, yeah, the the li the lineup is not the lineup is not that bad. Uh yeah. Yo, did anybody watch the, the Chelsea Burnley game and if they did, can I get uh where's the score of the Chelsea game? Can I, can I, two two. 
It was a red card. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Two, two. Three points for the dogs. Three yeah. points for the dogs and the predictions. I told, man. Uh, this no, weekend, but the I'm truth is, the truth Luan, is, Luan. I, the, the thing is that I don't know if anybody's watched that game. I want to know how that it was a yellow card. There was a yellow card and a penalty. A foul, maybe. Um, penalty, yeah, but a yellow, second yellow card and a red man, bro. Ah, uh, no, 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 Brenda, 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 I'm not gonna be West asking Ham that. Today, bro, the cheat West Ham, bro, and a lot of cheat. That, bro, that was never bro, did you, a pen for Anthony Gordon. Never did you, a pen. Did you watch the Tottenham game? The ball went over the line. The referee says no goal. The whole ball went over the line for Tottenham. The referee says no goal. I'm like, I'm lose? no, they won two one. I'm looking at the game. I'm like, how, how is this even possible? Shit. I wanted Burnley to draw them, bro. I wanted um Brent uh, to draw. Bre Brendan, now you're taking the piece, bro. Yeah, just now you're making it sound so 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 um off, guys. Some type of way, bro. I don't I, you better take note of what you want to take note, but yeah, I'm not gonna be doing the design of the pitch. If I want, I nah. <laughs> Yeah, man, the, the the best comment so far I've seen is the Glazers out comment. Let's go, Glazers out. Yeah, Spurs should yeah. have won that game 3-1, yep. Yeah. That half, yeah, my man, it, maybe it, it was me. Did you actually, did that ball go over the line? So wait, Luton didn't like, even look like equalizer. I thought they robbed Luton a goal. No, 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 they didn't rob Luton, no. Fireborn Spurs now, bro. There's, there's it wasn't, the um, Tottenham um, equalizer was an own goal. Okay, our uh, games, yeah. Yo, man, that's it. Over the line. I don't know. Maybe Evo was watching something else to say. I don't know. Why is that? He has. Hmm. Kobe. Who's that? No, bro. They they haven't won in the last five. So let that run continue. Not be doing this. Uh, what are you talking five. about? What are you excited so about? No, it's the Brent the Brentford. I don't want them doing anything. Well, all right. Well, so we're excited about the game going on, bro. It's no I'm start, done. bro. It no start. Calm down, calm on, calm on, calm on. We get overly hyped. The team which gave us a 4 3 win over Liverpool deserves a start. Oh. I like the talk, bro. Aren't and they here? One per second is here. There are team on the field. I don't understand what we are talking about here. One per second is here. Bruno is here. Uh, Everybody who started that game here. started. Yeah, Ganashu is here. Rashford is here. Rashford played the whole of that game. Who else? Rashford. Rashford. Come on. Find somebody. No, find somebody. Bruno. No, bro. No. I should have let... Oh, come on, bro. Lutata, you're saying the win, but everybody played in that game, though. That's so not a you, bad strike. That's not a bad shot, bro. That's not so, a bad are, you, shot. are you saying the last 15 minutes is what you think? I don't know what he's talking about, bro. What man Lutata talking about? Everybody who started in the game started in the game today. Lissandro will come on for the second half. It is a good game, bro. We can only get stronger at the end of the half. Rashford take too long to pass there, bro. Okay, Lutata, I see the change team. But it's change team, bro. Brentford would just walk over that change team. It was that change team was not balanced. If you if you want to be um um real with yourself, that change team, whatever you want to call it, was. What are you talking about? The last few minutes, the second, the yeah, team and the extra time. Yeah, and the extra time, I think, yeah, it wasn't really balanced in terms of Ben. See, if you're saying in terms of personnel starting in their position, bro, what would be the difference? Pass the ball, Bruno. 
Come on, Bruno. Come on. Not today, bro. Not today. Calm down now, bro. The game now start. The man take one shot, one pass. No, I'm not. I'm not complaining. Okay. Not today. Not today. The game now start. Let me go. Let them think. Let them find a rhythm. They ain't doing too bad. One minute you on. Uh, 4-12 four, four now. Huh? 4-12. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I have one that is 4-12. I have two screens, actually. One 4-12, one 4-43. So I think I must keep the one of 4 12 And go with the one of 5 now. Yo, man. I can't. I saw the Chelsea game today. I'm like, I can't wait to play Chelsea. Bro, I tell man Chelsea was going to draw 2 2. Oh my goodness. I just had to laugh. Had to laugh. They robbed me in the West Ham no, game. No, the gods was me. against me. You know what they I mean? They rob what's me called it. Um, Burnley, I don't think that was a penalty for against Burnley, though, but it's gone. Hmm. Yeah, possibly. Spurs come and win. Didn't like that scene. What go on with Fulham? Fulham draw? From draw, yeah. They came from a 3 1 um deficit to actually end any point in that game. Wait, wait, Fulham was losing 3 1 to Sheffield? Yeah, man. Okay, now, man. What thing is this I hear in here, boy? <laughs> Everton, Everton had to. Everton pulled one back. It was one-one. Then late, they had to consider an own goal to give Bournemouth the win. I, I was pissed, man. I was pissed, bro, because I picked for a draw. Yeah. Smart and grab draw, bro, at Everton, bro. Then what's they call it? Nottingham Forest. One-one, you know, dog. If it had end one-one, I smack with points again, you know. Damn. Trust you will not play a venomous Chelsea and Liverpool. Ah. See, what venomous? All of a sudden, they go and be venomous. Who, he's talking. He, he's talking. About, yeah, he's talking stop about. It, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, he's. I think he's just. He, 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 because I said I want. I can't wait to play Chelsea. So he's looking at. Don't be. Be careful what you wish for. Right. That's I think That's what he's trying to say. They might just. They might just be hard on the night. Yeah. Bro, we will smack Chelsea up on the night. Just remember, I tell you that with that. Well, are we playing? Are we playing home or are we playing away? We're playing our way at the bridge, bro. Oh we go and God. deal with them at the bridge. What try I say? We go and break that bridge down and burn it down red. Burn it down but, red. But the, the game, game against... Games. But today, I don't know what the referee was thinking. Like, he... Oh, I don't know. But after that wrong call, he also gave company a yellow card, a red card. But after those calls, he kind of calmed the game, you know? Like, he didn't do too much. So Everton Bournemouth win. Yep. Chelsea draw. Yep. Sheffield draw. Yep. Palace Forest, draw. Forest drew, yeah. Tottenham, Tottenham no, won I mean, so one. Draw, you know, I still I I didn't change that score, but I swear I put that two two in there. Scratch. All right. The rest of the scores will come out as predicted. Simple. I need to up. Guys, it's better. Why are we not, why are we not holding ball this ball, man? We're not holding the ball. Calm down now, bro. The game now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm coming down. It's eight minutes already. The game is gone already. What's gone? Eight minutes is warm up still. Is warm up bill still. Oh my days. All these good minutes here, bro. Watch me. Take what I tell you. Brentford didn't have a shot on goal yet. Calm down. Don't stress. Calm it down. Keep it calm. Nice, nice. Oh, nice, nice. Yo, I'm trying to begin to see Kobe. It's like Kobe just woke up. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what you do. Oh, beautiful boy, Kobe. Give it to him now. Mark Tommy, the man is right there in front of you. You decide to go to your elder brother, right? There. Nice one, two. Can we get? Oh, no. See, you have five points so far, bro. I don't know what you're saying, six points. But five points so far. Big up to you, though. Nice score. Good prediction so far. Red J. Big up, Red. Thursday night. 
Bro, let me tell you something about Thursday nights and Manchester United. You don't want to face them, bro. Just why I'm telling you about No, but that. I don't understand. What, when was the last time Chelsea beat United at the, at the bridge? When was the last time? It's about been five been years ago. ago. So I don't know why I mean, everybody's saying... Bro, man, it's uh, just be hype up, you know, bro. Man, just hype in because, no, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe we're trying to take the, the negative, um, keep hold on to the negative talk, the pessimism now, pessimism now and wait when we get the win here. Yeah, then Because I... I might see if we don't win, if we don't get a win over Chelsea, I'll be pissed. I'm telling bro, you guys, bro, now. Win, bro. I know, even I don't know why many even talking. It's about not like Chelsea. it's not like it's not Maybe like I'm right now. We're talking about Chelsea for you play no, Brent Brent saying, tonight, bro. Bumps, Bumps, I let the ball go on. The, I, this is the only person I'm very scared of in the for the Brighton team, Wisa. Yeah, and I will put him on that side for him to make some crunching tackles and he moving wiki. Mm -hmm. anyway, man, and men rate he above Dalo. I don't know how or not. Man is always leave the defender with so much time and time on his hands to pick his spot and do what he wants rather than um, put the tackle on him early. Compose, compose. I saw what Rashford was trying to do. He was trying to play it to um Hoyland, right? And get it back like a one-two. But Hoyland didn't move in time for that ball. So yeah. McTominay, you're, you're jogging again. This is oh my days, man. McTominay started. I know people like him. It's they say he's been saving us recently, but he's the way he is. Bro, he's, calm he's, down, he's, down, man. The micromanage game now, bro. It's bro, like, Kobe and Kobe and Hoyland are actually playing the football now. Kobe or in Hoyland are playing this football. You can actually bro, right. Him. So we, you know, let the game warm up. It's like half time yet, bro. You don't criticize him, man. Already, bro. Calm down. Get up, get up. I'm not criticizing, bro. You're talking about people say they like McTominay already, bro. Like, you had that's that could not be possible. No, no but I, I'm seeing his recovery. He's not, he's not doing small this. thing. Maybe in that moment, he didn't need to recover. He was able to jog with the other players, picking up the players. So, yeah. Relax. Take him one, man, Ganachi. Nah, Ganacho. What going on with Ganacho there? Ipo, I like... I play with Ganacho earlier on there, right? Yeah. Ganacho, you know he had to make that pass heavier back to Bruno, bro. You man, like, he yeah. just like, bro, like, okay, let's see. What's the Evo, I'd love to I'd love I'd love to know what I wish it, it could happen. So I'd love to get your view on the new coach. Because you seem you seem gone, man. <laughs> In my opinion, like there's nothing united that gives you joy at the moment. Maybe when they get the manager off, then you might find joy. I mean, did Brentford have a shot a shot at all for the game so far? No, no. I'm just so, he's talking about we're talking about we are the opposite of Chelsea. We can get battered for 95 minutes and still yeah. find a way to jog an undeserved shit win. Weird, bro. Weird. For me, I, I, I like I'm saying it now. If we don't if we don't find the win against if we lose to Chelsea, oh my days. Oh I would it's not like a, what that what is that? What is that? This is can I show this is the second time you're doing this thing? And I'm not. A man say Bruno gave it away. I thought it was Ganacho gave it away twice, but maybe it was Bruno. It's Ganacho that did. His second touch was too. too busy. What was he thinking? No, no one knows, bro. Oh, this left this left back that they have um one besaka playing is not I know he's doing a job, but man, it's not it's not what can I touch can I show? Wow, yes. Anyway, bro, do that's the best place for one besaka right now because on the right he can't dislodge Dalo, bro. Let me be real. Dalo playing. Okay. Dalo what is the, bro? Okay. Dalo, nice shot. Corner United. Um, Ivo, I, I get I get your point though. I get your point. But what me, I get I understand your position, right? But most of the time I just feel like what can we do? Right? We've been talking about it, we've been talking about it. It's until so if you think um keep you keep talking, then like keep talking. For me, 
I've said it once, I've said it twice, right? I'd wait to the to they decide what they want to do. But I'd rather have him run out this contract and see what we can do because a lot of these players for me should go again, again. First touch lets you down. What is this? Brentford are there for the taking. Don't give them any any hope. Don't uh, put one go past them now and their confidence level just drop. Whatever they have left in the tank will just go down. What time is it? Okay. Mark, at the 28 minutes, I would have to jog on to... Big up. Big up, big up. Yeah, Imran, Imran, we need a go now. We get a go now and yeah. Admiral, and I tell the new boy Brendan, bro, Brendan, boy, the man just don't know how to stay quiet and just, you know, just commentate the game, bro. You gotta be like, see, so I, 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 uh, you uh, take it uh, Brendan, yeah? I'm not, I don't have the jinx thing in me. Don't worry about that. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. I don't have the jinx thing in me, though. Or we gonna bag just now, watch. You gonna bag up our goal just now. And it go be the same Bruno that men coasting on so far. Bags, right? Nice purpose. boy. Nice boy. Nice boy. Ah, oh, come on. Where you are running to? Wow. Free kick, Brentford. The, the play earlier, right? Because I like to watch the, the play earlier, right? That was given. Now the ball was given to Hoyland. I don't see why McTominay was trying. He, just wait, and this guy will lay the ball back to you, and you can kick it or have a shot or something. You didn't have to go close the angle down or close the space. That man in pulling, pulling now, bro. That man dragging Hoyland in the box and thing. What going on is rugby, or? Come on, United. We need our goal. We want our goal. United. We want our goal. I was that saying, give us. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. How did we say get that ball? Connor, Brentford. How did we say get that ball from two defenders right there? How now? How? Oh. Bro, I know how Brentford operate and they've not been operating that way in the last five matches. So I don't know what you're talking about, Brendan. Most of the games I watched Brentford play this season, they've always, for some reason, they get most of the games, they get a goal first and they end up losing or the draw so maybe i'm seeing something a different guy so yeah yeah with that one will I, I i agree with you on that one they're missing but it's not like we hasn't stepped up though it's just yeah but not like we're not missing anybody bro we're it's, missing, yeah, we're missing a different, Camero, yeah. we're missing Licha. You know what I mean? Oh, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to say we miss anybody. That's the truth about this fan base. You're not allowed to say you miss anybody because the manager don't give them a style of play. Yeah, but how you got two game plans, bro? When you don't have a profile or squad to play one. I'm not even talking about. I'm not going to go for no, it. You are talking to evil. I'm not going. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say uh, uh, the, 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 the coach the coach hasn't made a tactical move for Eric Ten Hag to respond to. So how are you going to have how is your game plan going to change when the Ten Hag hasn't made any the Frank hasn't made any tactical move. Um, then it's not like they are winning at the moment. So so what's Ten, Ten Hag going to respond to? Ten Hag new performance by playing McTominay alongside him. My God, I've never hear, heard more we-s than this. Bro, come on, man. That's not even true. 
What is this, bro? What is this? Can you guys just get the ball out of... Oh, my days, bro. Oh, that's a foul. That's a foul all day against Brent against United. That's a foul to Brentford. Where you see a foul? It's a foul, bro. That's a foul. I don't see any way you see a foul. 19, 19, 19, 15. Oh, yeah. That's not a foul, bro. Are you mad? The man just dropped down like a breadfruit and is a foul? Jeez and rice, bro. Jeez and rice. Ivo, just because you're not the manager or you don't have the manager's books doesn't make the... doesn't say we don't have Bro, a plan. We don't have a plan, but clearly for the, like, for the first 15 minutes I don't understand. Game, I don't for the understand. first 15 I minutes, I don't like and we don't like the manager. Around. I know we you don't understand. like the manager, but just because you don't have the manager's book or you don't the manager is not doing what you want him to do doesn't make him um not having a plan. That's the man bumped into Bruno and fall down and, and is a foul. A man bumped into Bruno earlier and Bruno didn't fall. No foul. It's re reactive, bro. This game is weird. Weird. Weird, my bro. Weird. Good clearance. Swear, bro. It's weird. I feel like I feel like a lot of United fans want us to lose every game from now to the end of the season. So it's, it just paved the, the perfect way for whether this man to get... Whether or not we lose or not, bro, another manager not solve any problem. That's what they don't seem to understand. No, they would, it would. They, unless they want the same shit players that couldn't... and No other manager before Tena could have improved them to some levels. Like, no other manager get Rashford to score 30 goals in a season. No other manager had... Wonder uh, what is the prime uh, prime uh, prime uh, prime to uh, Carlos down the wing sometimes? And I was saying, so how many players being improved by by these by this manager? And we just want to get him out. No, the truth is, I like I like I like people to have like I like them to hold on to their opinion for me because it's an opinion based stuff, right? So hold on to yours and I hold on to mine, right? Yeah. At one point, if we get to meet at the point, fine. If we don't, then go well, we it's. It, uh, we can all agree to disagree. That, that's my point, though. You must, you must trust. You must have patience with a team, bro. It's not... I don't know. I never see any team that just suddenly start winning, start being amazing. Reggie, 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 what did we say about overestimating? There's nothing about overestimating. I'm saying hold on to your opinion about the manager. I hold on to mine. I never stated anything about, oh, he's them super good. No, I'm just saying hold on to yours. I hold on to mine. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's like it's like when those people that want the manager to stay, when they say something, the ones that don't want him to stay feel like, oh, why would you want him to stay? So, what has he given you, bro? Like, I didn't look at it like now. this. If, if men say, if men say no, this. the man is right there in front of you. What this? I'm going to dress. You know what? You know when they say the man, the man, them, the man, them so bad. The man had the highest winning percentage of any manager in United history so far, bro. So like, I just park in it right there and say, if you want to talk about winning, he win more than any manager so far in the current grand scheme of things in terms of first two seasons. So it's a process, bro. Ralph Ragnick say like we cut when we do open heart surgery, it never happened yet, but men still vex. I don't understand it. Um. Superfly, I'm on 23, 23 23.10 right now. Don't understand it at one bit. Okay, let's let us let us make it easy for everybody. How about you guys just go out there and just say right to Eric Ten Hag and he just who he almost scored. Brentford hit the post, the, the upright. Isn't yeah, that an offside? Fun. It was offside, but I don't know, man. You know, man, not uh, gonna jump up and say in the chat that I but I was offside. You know, no, he wasn't. You know? Let me look at it again on replay. He wasn't off. No, one Bissaka was playing them onside, and Ivan Tony almost, yeah, almost. Hold on, there, bro. My stream might flicker for a second there. Eh? 
It was onside. It was onside. Wan Bissaka playing him onside. Way onside. Malaki. When I talked about McTominay a while ago, I was asked to keep it calm. <laughs> Though one minute we hit the players, the next minute we hit the manager. What do we actually like in this club? We like glazers, right? Right. <laughs> right. All I say is it's about time the players go on. It's about time we actually do a rebuild and play out some of these players and and then we could argue about the manager, bro. We can't there blame is, him for, is, bro, for players Mark, that managers Mark, couldn't get the best goal either. Mark, the reason why I don't really talk about the manager that much anymore is because Raf Ragnick came here with this same set of players and they couldn't do anything. The man had them play his style of football for 25 minutes and that was it against Fulham. 25 minutes and that was it. And I'm like... <laughs> and I... No, no, no. We don't have it. I just said... I was asking bro, about my company. I just need them to them micromanage now, bro. It, and, it makes and, no sense. It's like they want to what, be. They what's want, the midfield, you know? right? What's the midfield? Now we have. Now we have, who's McTominay should show for the ball, right? Um, Kobe's already engaged. McTominay should be free and show himself for the ball. Nah. Ragnick was no prick, was no prick though. Ragnick said what needed to be said, and a lot of people were just and hating. It still didn't it. happen, but men, but men still vex, bro. The man said 10 players in, 10 players out. Any 10 players leave? No. So talk to me about that first. Then let me argue. If you want to make it make sense. No other manager. We, we've, we've, had, to... we've had two weeks of preparing for this. Brentford had, what, zero weeks of preparing for this as well? <laughs> yes. Bro, man. Mark, I think I've had a bounce from this for too long, bro. <laughs> These guys are killing me today. So no, Brentford, I... Brentford should just come down here and just lay low because United came to their home. To play football, nah, it's, I'm, I'm not having all of this today. Don't forget, not oh my days. <laughs> um, I, I just watching the game, bro. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it go happen or it happen, bro. You know what I mean? I just you like know, they were United to score in the first 15 minutes of the attacks we was having when Brentford didn't have a chance on goal yet, Drex. If we didn't take any shots, Rashford didn't take any shots. So there's, I mean, it's there's something. Fun, bro. There's something my 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 coach used to tell me back then, right? Like even when we we're playing, um, we we used to play. Uh, I don't know if I told you this in St. Kitts, right? So sometimes he would just arrange some of for the the league, right, for us to play them. And there's this thing they they always say. Don't don't for, forget about your position. Even if you would dismantle them in the first 20 minutes, bro, those guys, they came to play football. They have a game plan as well, right? So yes. nobody is, you might say on paper, they are a weak team. But on the pitch, not everything will go your way. So, Rashford, what was that? Bruno could be easily replaced. In that deep, fellas. In that deep. The players meant that getting the blame for the reason why we're playing the way we're playing. It's not even the players who are actually causing the problems, you know. So weird and over. So weird and over. It's so weird, you know. Raf Ragnik. I felt like Raf Ragnik. You're right, um, Small. Mortal was scared that if Raf if Raf takes the consultancy role, he would be one of the people that would leave. How do you how do you as a as a spot um a supposed um spot director tell the Jesse Linga that you're not going anywhere when you know the kid or the, the player could fetch you another 15 or 10 million pounds? You're telling him you're not going anywhere and you wouldn't allow him play. Like the man wants to leave. Is gonna run down his contract. You know he's gonna run down his contract at the end of this uh, of the season. You said no, you wouldn't sell him for ten. Or, you wouldn't make. You wouldn't make something out of the, of the sale. Bro. That's I, not cool. 
that's since mm -hmm. then I'm like, you know what? Moto is not the guy, bro. Moto when people start raving about him last Moto Madness, blah. I'm not. I'm already. I already checked out a motor a long time ago. So, but I, I wouldn't say anything about him. I wouldn't call him out anymore. I'm just like done with him from that time. Nah. Players that would, you would have at least squeezed maybe a million or even worst case scenario five from them. No, you let them go. We have no leadership. I don't know where you're, see, where you're seeing that, making that determination from. Can we watching the same game we're watching right now? No players set any standards. That's rubbish. Bro, sometimes I feel men is just try to be sensational, bro. And just have and just have an opinion to say, you know, because I watch any game and we're not playing terribly. You know, sure, we're not we're not doing what we, we should, should. We, we know we, we could do. We know we could do a player more attacking a more higher. No, no, no. look at look at look at this setup that we are in now at the at the 30th minute, right? 30 minute 3006, right? Now we have the ball. McTominay is in, in, in ten position. It's not. He's not even trying to create a, posi a, a, a scenario where he would get the ball easily. He's walking directly into the mid the, the defenders. How, how do you do that when I say midfielder? Like okay, you. In uh... What Rashford doing? You know what other players doing? We're not really Campos. doing too bad. I, I don't understand why men reacting like if it's like the no, game is I'm such just... shit. Like the game, is, yeah, it's not a fact, bro, because you're being sensational straight up. Because look for the last five minutes, I could tell that United have more control of the ball than Brentford. So unless I watching a different game, then clearly we're watching two different games of football, bro. So, like, you know, Brentford had take over for 10 minutes and we now taking back over the game. Because we have more of the ball going at them right now at the moment. So I don't understand what we're talking about here. Even the counter-attacking football wheel, they wouldn't play it like... We, they don't know how to even play it best to their ability week in, week out. So, for me, like... I mean, bro, we season, already know, bro. Is. Like, I don't understand. I don't get... I don't get the issue. I don't get the problem. I don't get why we keep asking our manager to get the best out of players who we already know from four or five managers before. Oh, we they got, can't the get the best out of them. They can't get any better. It's Brentford insane. Gets, got a corner. Let's see. They go short. Now the Brentford does in. not seem to be struggling. Okay. Go. I, Brentford does not seem to be struggling. I guess I guess we alone seem to be struggling. Maybe we are the only team in the Premier League who struggle against every other team. For some reason, it's strange that we're in sixth place and the final of the FA Cup. Strange. The semi-final, you know? Strange. It's strange. See, how, what did he Struggle FC. Struggle United. Ooh, Onana was beating. Onana was... Oh, that was close. Onana was beating right there. I mean, possibly. That header didn't look like it was ever going to go in go, any goal. No, it was. If it, it was if it, if it was down a bit, it would have been in top corner. If that is not what happened, bro. The way he had the ball, he know that that was going way way out. That bounce off the top of the post in the back at the crossbar. Not even in front of it, you know, at the back of it. it uh, Brendan, I understand the result doesn't always um, reflect the performance. For me, for now, I take. Bro, what is it? Like, you know. Here the thing, right? This is what this is my question. Nah, it wasn't off the bar. They guys shouldn't make it look like we're not we're not watching the same game. It wasn't off the bar, bro. <laughs> Fall behind the bar. Men, you know, you know bar, I want to ask guys here what I want to ask them, right? <laughs> this is the question I want to ask all of them because like, none of them me. seem to be able to answer this one question, right? Y'all keep talking about performance. Did y'all disagree with Ralph Ragnick's assessment of the squad when he made the assessment? Because apparently y'all agree with his assessment. But you like, still expect to see amazing football from the same bunch of players, which to me is loony. It's more than insane. You know what I mean? More than insane. So if you agree with Ralph Ragnick, then Ralph Ragnick was wrong. Brendan Chappell say Ralph Ragnick was wrong. Ralph Ragnick was wrong. Well, bro, Jose Mourinho was a Yo, shit coach. Uh... Brendan deserves the brand people like Brendan, they deserve the glazers for real. Mm. <laughs> bro, that's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm not gonna crap, say anything bro. more than that. Oh, the oh my days. You get this guy had he had Tony had um Lindelof there. He he had Lindelof there. He had Lindelof there, bro. On toast, they bro. can't polish a third, bro. 
and I will I will keep it real and say I'm like, not I'm not if you Brenda I'm not making it personal you see I'm just laughing I'm just saying guys like you makes me just feel like you all got you all want Glazers to stay for the longest of time I don't I don't see I I like I'm just to me it's all fun <coughs> and jokes because yeah kick over bars again nice everybody, shot nice everybody's shot, got, nice shot, nice shot, everybody's nice got shot. an opinion right it's all fun and game if you see me I don't try to show my opinion down anybody's bro truth. you do you yes. I do me that's all I see. They did not bring nobody. Then let me ask you a question. You think Pep could make these players better? Honestly, I want an honest opinion. Pep will make this team play like prime Barcelona. Tell me, Pep, Pep, will, not, Tiki -taka. Pep will not step a foot in the door. Forget the door, Pep. Bro, he wouldn't. Players. No, no, no. Forget the door. Be engaging. You know, I'm not trying to shut you down, bro. I want to ask a question. Could Pep take this group of players and turn them into Tiki Taka specialists? Look at that shot, Rashford take. Look at that shot. He wants us, he bro. He wants somebody just to warm up the back of his, his nice trim, bro. I'm telling you. Because that shot is of absurdity. So you telling me Ten Hag tell Rashford take that shot. Ten Hag tell Rashford do that, bro. You know? Bro. And wait, this is Brentford's home. I, I don't I, I still don't get <laughs> why everybody is so. Why well, it feels like uh, uh, football um, is not one dimensional, bro. Obviously, but you have to remember if players at a certain level and they not they don't have a adequate level of football IQ, they can't play expansive football. Is the reality of life, bro? You Brendan, want players you, to go above watched, their abilities that they don't have. You've watched United under Glazers for too long, right? So you just seen anything like you just feel like these players are the elite of the elite, right? Wait until you see. Um, when I don't have too I much bet, hope on I them, but I, I feel money, like what bet money today I could count five players who was part of that open heart trilogy. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, Bruno wasn't part of that. I guarantee Rashford was open heart surgery, bro. Luke Shaw was in that open heart surgery, Maguire, bro. I could call a list and you all wouldn't like it, bro. Right, man, right. Tata, I'm telling you for free, Pep will not step a foot through United's door. If they won't guarantee him that a lot of these players are gonna be sold, Pep got to City and, and bought defenders like he was buying bro, ice Pep cream. Pep had thirty-seven signings in two seasons, bro. In less than two seasons, two years, bro. So I don't even want to hear, man, bro. Pep bought players yeah. like he was buying ice cream, and you know, <laughs> does that happen? Look, we still crying about no. Is our fall on Wisa, bro? Them Brentford players could get free, 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 free kicks, bro. Free. Free. Okay, Brent for Brendan, what are you saying? Raf Ragnick was was not for doing what for calling out the, the glazers or for calling out the board. Let me hear, let's have your let's have it. Let's let me hear what your angle is. Because it's Raph, not a bad game so far, Yali. It's an okay game. I would say it's fair to find it's fair. Raph, I wouldn't say Raph, it's a good game. Raf for me, right, did what he was like interim with the mindset of going to be the consultant, right? He did what he could do with the bunch, right? Uh Maybe you don't, maybe you disagree with his approach on how he was calling the 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 the, the owners and calling and the board out. Maybe really maybe sluggish about this field, bro. I maybe he should have been more. Men... He should have done it more and more. Juan um... Bissaka, bro. Juan Bissaka creating a huge problem for players right now in that defense. He run, he right jogging if... around like if he can't run, you know, bro. I don't understand. Like he's sick. Ah, but... I've I shown you disrespect, Brendan. I only said guys like you make me feel like you all deserve Glazer. So how is that disrespectful? Because you're not coming out with your point. You just keep saying what you want to say. Like say, be you. You're talking about being constructive in your discussion. Bro, leave Brendan okay, let's have, Chappell, let's have the discussion bro. now. I'm asking what they did Rafa say that's that bad? What did he say that was that bad? Bro, I don't know you, but I'm saying from what you say, saying that Raf Ragnick was bad because he called the players out and he called the board out is... I'm saying when I hear people talk like that, I'm, the only thing that comes to my head is they deserve the Glazers, so... Yeah, I mean... So, I don't know you. I'd love to when, know you, but I don't know you. So, when I hear people say, like, a lot of this... When, when, it, when, it, when a coach... An interim comes into a place and he sees the house is burning and calls it the way it is. And some people are saying, oh, he was bad. He shouldn't have done. Like, I, I, how do you... I don't understand. What else do you want him to say? Exactly. Yes, Compost. Ralph would have been the perfect deal. Over. All now we're not the being club with needed, some of players. The club needed a... Evil boss, you are, you are actually saying what I'm saying, the, the club needed a full reset. 
Raph called it the way it was. And Brendan is making it look like I'm saying something wrong. I'm not limiting your bro, points, stop. man. Re relax, relax now, bro. Brendan. No, I don't want to offend Brendan, anybody. Calm I'm down, not, bro. He, it's not my, down, it's, bro. This is not my Yeah, but you're doing disrespect. Him by saying is, that, bro. I mean, let me be real now, bro. This is like, MUFC Real ST. Yeah, but you're not going to go on and go on and on about that, bro. Come on. Is either he going to accept? Because he, I could tell that you didn't mean that, bro, mean it like that. So I don't understand what you're trying to say, bro. Like, come on. You know? Hey, good you want, Big up to you, Vegeta. What's going on, bro? Ah, nothing much. Just seeing the fans. You're but you know, this is this is exactly what I told you earlier on when we were having the Bruno discussion, you know. At the end of the day, these players, I told you, 60, 70% need to go. Exactly. Because, right. because the, plan, the plan is there. The execution, not so much. Unfortunately. And I can I keep saying this to the United fans. We we have to get rid of this mentality of if my favorite player goes, it's the end of the world. No, you have to be Manchester United first. Exactly. And, and above all things, not even first. It should be Man United above all things. Always, That's the only way we go back to the top. Always Man United first, bro. Yeah. Hundred percent, bro. Like to be fair, bro. Like if this, bro, they can sell Bruno. They could sell Rashford. They could, sell, bro. They could sell the foot, bro. The entire starting eleven could go, for my opinion, bro. Because at the end, they when the bro, next ten men come bro, in, them is the men I back in week in week out because them men I is don't have, I don't have my a badge. problem if they flush out this system. If they put it down the drain and flush it out, I don't have a problem. If you want to send the coach with them as well, I don't have. But don't send the coach out of the door when you still have Wait, some players man, like this. corner, bro? It never even come off a run. Ivan Tony kicked Varane foot and the ball come off his knee. Varane come off Ivan Tony knee and went nah, out. I don't these understand. Officials are corrupt, nah, bro. These officials are corrupt. Haven't you seen the oh, officiating bro, don't, today? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about the, the officials. Like, bro. Oh, you saw the official. Oh, you, you, you yeah. It's Ivan Tony on the field, you know, bro. Ivan the terrible, you know, the phony on the field. So must be <laughs> you reckon he's, he's got a play to no, the referees? He's hit bro, bad, though. He's hit the upright, though. You have some bet with them, you know, if, you like, if the Lions score, you, they'll get 50,000 or something. You never know. Yeah, you never know. They would always go. But you know what's crazy about United fans? We've been watching these guys for uh, since for, for a while now. We've had, what, three different managers with them? Most of them, the same the same managers. And exactly. yet we're expecting uh, Ten Hag to turn water into wine. I mean... How much more auditioning do we need to give these guys? It's kind of like people who keep saying, No, we need to give Lickshaw some more time. Ten Hag is a coach. Like, what do you mean, bro? We've been seeing the same turds for the last season, season in, season out. We just like heart heartache at this stage. Yeah, it's bro. Awesome. Sell them, bro. Hey, bro, you're getting 75 mil for Rashford. Sell him. You're getting 80 mil for Bruno. Sell him. You're getting 60 mil for, for our next player. Sell him. 40 for McTominay. Sell him. 20 for Maguire, sell him. Whoever again, sell. You understand? Know yeah. Like, bro, I tell it, I came in it so real with men, bro. Like, I could take on losing with a young squad of players, bro, under 23, just like Chelsea, knowing that the next season, they will have the experience to win all the games that they lose. Bro, I could handle that, bro. I don't feel men had the belly for this, you know. I don't think you know, men had the belly for this, bro. Yeah, Telling you know what? You know, Ten Hag kind of needs the same backing that Arteta got. Uh, in the sense that when people, when he wanted to get rid of people, he could. Because I don't know who made this point earlier, but Ten Hag hasn't really been able to get rid of anybody. If you look at the squad, hundred uh, percent. Like he needs to be backed in that sense to say, okay, if he says Maguire is not good enough, this guy's not. They need to go, and in and in the same way, he needs to get the people in. Because if we had a magic wand, we would get rid of this entire squad. But that's not right. how squad building works, unfortunately. Bro, you, um, you I, didn't, I, didn't cast, I didn't catch this guy's name. I want he said something that I loved so much, man. <laughs> Vegeta. Vegeta, like if you <laughs> Ten Hag needs to be able to say, you said something about Ten Hag needs to be able to say, I don't this person is not good enough. Go. That's exactly yeah. same yeah. exact same thing Pep did at City. This person is not good enough. Go. Go. Yes, because he's the manager. That's his literal vocation outside exactly. of being a head coach he's the manager if my manager says he doesn't like my performance tomorrow the business is going to back him because at the end of the day he's the face of the business you, you get what i mean he's the guy that they're trusting with the budget to get the right people to deliver the deliverables and if he feels like for whatever reason hey i'm trash i'm gone they're not going to get rid of him so i don't know why in football we let the trash employees dictate the managers uh, the managers come in that's just really weird to me 
Like, I know, ah, man, it's it's I crazy. Really one Basaka playing at left back is not doing the job for me in this game. He did a job against Liverpool, but right now he, he's not doing it, man. It's I feel the ref, I feel I feel he goes switch it at half time, you know. You better feel, do, man. And I'll go you swap, swap them up. at half time. You better switch it up at half time. The because... problem is, uh, yo, why one Basaka? Why, bro, bro, man, you know, men complaining about Bruno, bro, but one Basaka in pass a proper ball for the whole game, bro. The man in run down a ball with pace for the whole game. Everybody pushing him off the ball. That's what I and just said. He's, he's he, on the left back. He's not. He's not getting it bro, right. He was, on the left back. Bro, he was bullying Salah the last game. That's so I, I, that's, that's today. He feeling sicker. He had the cold. He had that's a heavy what, flu. Something going wrong, and he catch the flu, bro. I tell him, man. You, you know what it is with Wemby. Wemby is the kind of player that you need for big games. Like wow, it's crazy. Man, look that at was the a, kill Bruno, bro. That was a yellow card, though. I think there was a foul on him earlier, but I think he is retaliating or something like that. That's that's not bro. That's a, that 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 sketching. That could be a red, you know, bro. The way he clear away Bruno for the day, bro. That, that could be a red, bro. That's my life, bro. Watch that. Watch that, bro. Watch it in slow mo, bro. Lindelof has been doing his beats on the on the floor. Varane has been doing his beat his, his beats on the in the air. So it's been a case of both guys that we have has more possession the of the ball, by the way. Guys, just want you all to know we lead in by about but what we are 40 57 percent possession. Something like which that. I would, which I would expect because Brentford don't want the ball. They're kind of playing the game of give us set pieces, give us you know counterattacks. They don't want to play, you know, ball. Bag. Yeah, they want yeah, yeah. Bag them to go in the half, one nil, bag it. Which is kind of why when I, I said coming into this game, is people up, people, you know. <laughs> when people are saying four nils, I said, guys, guys, come on, let's. I, I get we're excited, but I see, I'm, uh, you know, I, t- I tell it myself, Vegeta, that man, them knowing that he European spot of on the line, he will be bag banging bullets at that goal. You know what I mean? Turning up, real turn up business, because you know we homeboy loves to play for England, so it just isn't looking so. You know what I mean? Ghana show for sec- first yeah. and second touch a little off today. Bro, I feel men need to go into the half and get a little if bit. I, if I, if I get... Ass and come back, bro. I feel like... Okay. Yeah. If I understand that point, you made a, we made a good point there. Wemba Sek has got two problems. One is not a left back. Two, yeah, I get you. He's... Yeah, this... I forgot that line that this is actually his second game since he got off um come back came back from injury. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. But in between one. them games, he had two weeks they, to rest, no, bro. He wasn't no, representing no international no, country, bro. You know, Mark, you know one time uh, one time on um football power, I said you could be much um rusty, right? But you'll be much fit. So me and what I'm thinking is he's much rusty at the moment. Not that Liverpool game. You, did you hear what Bruno said? They had somebody went off and they had to just call him and be like, "Yo, he wasn't supposed to start the Liverpool game." I think one it was the Evans that got injured and they were like, "They have mm. to make a shift." And one Bissaka was there and they were like, "Bro, you have to come in." So, kudos to the guy. But I'm just saying for at left back today, he's not. He's been found wanting. So yeah, and Ibu right. just made a very good call point there, saying, "To yeah, be fair, yeah, bro, yeah, like, yeah. I, like I know. Let's see. This is why I'm not blaming the squad." Like, like honestly, like so this is why I'm watching the game objectively, and I'm saying to myself, you know, we're not doing too bad. You know, we could have be having a better game. Like, honestly, we could be doing better. But when you look at the, the balance in the squad and you look at what we have on the field, like Hoyland returning to match fitness, you know, Marcus Rashford is what Marcus Rashford is. He when he ready, he on. When he ready, he off. Ganacho trying, but he, you know, his first touch killing him so far. You know, two young, a young front line, right? Minus Rashford, to be fair, I don't consider him a young fella. I consider him a, almost a senior, basically. You know, the midfield weekend, there's no Casemiro. Because, let me be real honest here. If Casemiro is in that midfield, we'll have more of a platform to dominate the midfield today. And I've been real when I say that. And and then now, look at the defense. You know, we had Lindelof. Sure, he's doing his best. But, you know, Juan Bissaka being a little bit weak, coming through I, around, I, you know, in I defense. Said, his defense has not people, been there at all today. Is going forward has been not as good, you know. His entire play today has been lackluster so far. So I feel like if you know you look at some of the plays going on, you know, we could be doing a much better if some players get wake up. Some guys need to wake up. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, 
McTominay is not in this game. I said it before, and uh, True, Mark McTominay said I should down. McTominay is not in this game at all. Like, but you he's still having Mc... a better game than Bissaka. So, yeah, bro, you, when you say thing. somebody's having a better game uh, but I'm one Bissaka, McTominay but I mean, is in the, he's in the heart of the midfield. McTominay is in the middle where the things are supposed to be happening, but he's not in this game. Mm -hmm. Leaving Bruno and um, where all Kobe the ball Most of the ball playing down the left wing, bro. If you understand what I'm saying, the majority of the play for the last 15 20 minutes was going down the left, it wasn't really going through the midfield. But when we but get it was a passenger, but when we have the ball, right? Which we don't have the bodies in the midfield to actually try to create, yeah. Something. But we mean the, the ball play going down the left, Drek. So, we're talking about they're not even looking at the players in midfield to carry the ball, they're sending the play down the left. I was, if you I notice, was gonna, I was gonna say most of that, most of our play this season hasn't been through the middle. So, so that, just, that, this is just why this is why I'm trying to, try to figure out why we blame on most of our play who's is a passenger for the last 15 minutes because all the play going down the left hand side, all of it. Can can like I be honest? Weird. Can I be honest? McTominay's mm. best position is off the bench coming on later on in the game, and I, I think that. Honestly, Ten Hag found that he should have stuck with that. And I look, unfortunately, after Wamba Saka, you've got Amrabat, so our left our left side is not looking great from that perspective. Maybe Ten Hag could have tried something different by having wing backs instead of full backs, whereby we can maybe maximize having three center who's backs. Gonna, and then who's gonna play? Who's gonna play the wing back? Who? Well, it would be Basaka and, and Dalo, but who would have played it? One Basaka would probably do better as a, as a wing back than he would as a full back. Wait, that wing back on what position? Left. Wing left wing back or right left, wing? Yeah, left, left wing back. Left wing back, because. It, it's less demanding in terms of going back because with, with the three at the back, your center midfield number six would drop in whenever we were, were defending to make it a four. So the impetus would be more for attacking, which I know is not great at, but at least he's not not defending because he's not doing that at the moment. True. You know what I mean? Casimero is, I, is Casimero on the bench? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, Casimiro but you see the problem. Recently, I think that's why. No, it, it was the thing. The, the thing is, um, he felt an un muscle thing, and he went and had it checked out. And you know, United doctors say it was nothing, and then he went to Barcelona Cash. and they say, well, you know, yeah, you need to Cash. get some do some rehabilitation because it could be. Bad. Bro, see for me, right? I, 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 I might, I might sound a little bit um off here, but I feel like Casemiro just wanted time out, man. Nah, bro. Out. Take your nah. time out, bro. Like, you, like, you know, like, you know, you, you know how you go, you know how, how can you tell me your team doctor won't see anything? Then you go to because your the team doctors, we have a shit. Now. Simple. We think, have a shit medical I, department. Let me not cover it up. Let me not try to make it sound shit. good. No. Gary O'Driscoll was partly responsible. This is my, my, this yeah. is my, 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 nice. my, my strategy. I, I think Gary O'Driscoll, when I look back at him at Arsenal, that see those two seasons, there was injury prone. They fire him, and now they have no injury problems. So maybe Gary O'Driscoll not that good. But you understand what I'm saying, Drex? But guys, two points. Follow the breadcrumbs. A lot of our players are playing on injuries. So how can we trust that the medical department is going to be truthful? They're going to always choose what is best for, for, the, for United. I think there's a conflict of interest because the persona guy is not working for United. He's just going to give an assessment and that's it. That's why I'm like, I don't blame Casimiro for getting a second opinion because our medical department yeah. is sus. Sus. Let's be honest, it's sus. You know what I mean? I like I, I keeping it real, guys. Like I being honest, like at the end of the day, like I want to say the best because yeah, we're supposed to be the best, but we have not been maintaining these things for the last 10 years, guys. You know what I mean? So we had to always look at it like it's gonna be a long road to come back. And you know, we could we could say that, yeah, you so, know, we so, had a we could so, say, you know, that it, it should be better, but at the same time, this is what it is right now. You know what I mean? The manager doing his best with what he have. And it ain't that great. Big up, Mick coming in. What's good, bro? Yo, what's up, Mick? What's good? Um, fair assessment. Um, no creativity whatsoever. Scott McTominay. The first 19 minutes was good. Then they get a spell and we never recovered. Um, the midfield wide open. Um, leaves um, Aaron Van Bissaka exposed. Um, so it lo looks very unbalanced there, to be honest. And I think we need a change. I think we need to throw in a Christian Eriksen or something like that in the midfield to create. Um, I just don't feel any sense of urgency, like, you know, on the flanks either. Um, yeah, well, that's basically one Masaka all game. He's like, that's why, I said, that's why I said, that's why I said, Mark Tomine in the game has been invincible. 
he's not mm. helping out. So if McTominay was in the middle, at least Kobe can go support, can drift left to actually try to support them. Um, that's um, not what he should be Mark, doing. He's not supposed to be supporting a left back, bro. Like, come on, bro. He's supposed yeah, to be supporting know, the attack as a midfielder. I don't understand. Yeah, but they make, you know, Kobe Main are totally exposed to playing single, um, single pivot. And Jarvis is coming in here as well. Big up, Jarvis. But you know, to be honest, I think hey, we're guys. seeing the same problems. What's up, Jarvis? Big up, Jarvis. I, th up, I think the, the lack of a six, the lack of an anchor player is exposing us yet again because Kobe Main was not a six. In my opinion, we're saying no creativity. We need that guy no, not. playing box to box. McTominay is not going to play six. Yeah. He hell no. That that will be a, a, pro a problem. Casemiro just got back from injury. Okay. So, um, we get a whole ask you a question. What makes McTominay still play football in this football club for 90 minutes, week in, week out? Why Who why do you why? have to bring on the field? Better? Bro, you if a problem is in st staring you in the eyes, do you just hold on to that problem because there's no. So Oh, come on, bro. Who is who we have to bring on besides oh, him? You're gonna bring on Amrabat, bro. You, you, you're really? gonna tell me Amrabat will do worse than this guy. Are you gonna hundred percent worse, bro? Hundred percent. Hundred Jarvis, what's your assessment? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think you're right, Mickey. This things are getting too we are we are attacking too slow. I, I, I call it tempo. The tempo on the ball and the passes we use two or three touches all the time but not only how how fast we distribute the ball but how fast the pass is going it's going too slow everything is going too slow because you got to remember when Brentford defend with five guys they have three three center backs and two wing backs and they took down so so there's no space in 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 the in the last line of defense and they have three midfielders, but the midfielders have the time to shift from one side to the other easily. Mm. So Easy. every time Rashford has the ball and, and Van Bissaka is there, there's no problem for Brentford to defend because they have one center back, one uh, fullback, and they talk in the midfielder who's uh, Jensen on, on the right side for them. So they are, they are never, never outnumbered. So they defend easily. And that leaves Rashford with no options. So what do Rashford do? He goes back to default mode and he tries to dribble and be greedy because there's no passing options because we we, we don't have a, have an extra man because we are used yeah. to this. And we try to do the same thing as we did against Liverpool. You see when Rashford has the ball, often Ganacho takes the long run over to Rashford. So... We have an extra man, but it doesn't help because we are Brentford. Just push one extra man over, and yeah, and yeah. we have no tempo. So this this is uh, Ten Hag should address this. It should be easy to fix. And I, I agree with mixed solution, uh, Sabin Eriksson, because we need one ball distributor on on the yeah. pitch who can Eriksen. pass the ball right, left, and center easier. And you can see Bruno today. Bruno is invisible because Jensen is doing a effing good job. He's he's on. Bruno all the time, um, mm. so uh, and and the two fullbacks of uh, of Brentford, the one on the left side, I don't remember his name, uh, and and uh, Rochlev on on the right, they are uh, fantastic. So uh, we need to step up the game. It's it's not easy playing against the back five, but Ten Hag knew this, so we should we should have instructed yeah. these players. Yeah, true, true. I mean, I I, I just feel that that. Um... Is what you said. There's no tempo, and if you, if you're saying that, you know, Jensen is um, marking Bruno, then throw in a another registra, give them an extra headache. To be honest, mm. to distribute the ball better, um, because at the moment it's not really working. Um, you can't play a single pivot there. Um, solution either Casemiro. I know he's been injured, but you know, still throwing Casemiro as number six, play Maino as number eight potentially. Oh, we see. Um, maybe a little Lissandra Martin needs to come in as well. Right, he ain't working. Mm. But but I, I miss the opposite movement because we see we, Hoylun mm. is, is is packed in with with three centre backs all the time. Hoylun yeah. is invisible this game, <clears throat> so Hoylun needs to to drop down to get himself free from uh, from his marker. But what we have to do then, McTominay needs to to see this and and make the opposite run. So when when Hoylun drops down, McTominay needs to move up because we need to push them down. Yeah. Because we, we can't just let them flood our uh, with with centre backs into the midfield, so we have no yeah. space to, to play in. So yeah, there's a lot of things to improve for Ten Hag. Sorry, but 
R10 is saying it because uh, the manager spoke that, you know, in the East press to keep Bruno quiet. And basically, he's the most creative player. So you, you got a point there. Like, you know, there are definitely point marking mm. Bruno. I they think are. Bruno just needs somebody to play, play off. That's why I was saying it would be great if we could play Mino as like right. an eight so that Bruno has somebody to play the ball off because unfortunately McTominay is not going to play that role. He's more of a second striker type of a player. But that's not happening for us in this game, unfortunately. Mm. We, right. we my, my take is we can't just have one creator and expect things to happen. We just can't have it. Like week in, week out, we have only one creator. Against Liverpool, when the minute we threw in Ericsson, like Mick said, it then we had two people that could actually that knew what they were doing to do in terms of creating mm, chances. Mm. So right now it's so easy for Brentford. Take Bruno out of the equation. McTominay is like a, a lost cow. Um, Kobe Maino is just the one in the middle trying to hold mm, with legs and hands. So it's not working at the moment. So for me, that's why I kept saying, "What is Mac?" I've always had people that more folks think I have something against McTominay, but you could see yeah. he's supposed to do something in the midfield, not up at the end of the pitch. We know he scores the odd goal here or there, right? But no, it's you're supposed to be in the midfield when the chance opens for you to get at the uh, or the uh, 18 yard of the of, of the um, opposition, then do it. But at the moment, you're supposed to make the midfield compact and give options to your creator. And the quote and unquote, um, 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 Maino, who's who's trying to hold the line, you're supposed to be that person, not just disappear every now and again. That hey. you so it's hey, a big up, puppy. Watching <laughs> McTominay frustrates me a lot, right? He does because mm. he just lets everything fall apart. I was talking about yeah. how him not being in the midfield is making Kobe not know what to do in terms of when we are under attack. Because normally, if he was in the midfield with this guy, at least he, if the ball is coming from the right, Kobe could say, okay, let me support with the right, knowing that I have a McTominay to actually hold the floor for me oh. while I go make a, a, some sort of support to the, to whoa, the right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maguire is coming on. Yeah, Mac, he's just warming up. I don't know if he's coming on for real, but... Um, yeah, so That's same thing with the left. Because right now, um, Wan-Bissaka has been overrun, and there's no cover. Yeah. We all know uh, Rashford the, won't come back to do that. But on the other hand, they've been quite, to do that. Go ahead, Mick. On the other hand, they'd be quite toothless as well. Like, you know, they ha only had one shot on targets by being peppering, like, you know, not hitting. Um, that needs to stop in the first place. So we need to solidify that defence. I'm proud of the first 19 minutes. We were, you know, bobbing, bobbing them around, but something happened there. Like, they need, they yeah, needs to get coming out. Yeah. All right. Uh, big up so see you after the uh, after the whistle as well we have we have mitch in the in the, in the background by the way that we haven't heard it yeah yeah i'm words. leaving so you can let somebody in so see if post match big up, up come on let's do this submit for mitch <laughs> <laughs> very Sub close mitch. Names. okay <laughs> hey right. guys hey. Hey. hey what's up mitch good good uh I hope I can make an impact on this panel. Oh, you're gonna don't worry, you break the you break the good luck. Um guys, I guess I'll catch you guys at half time, man. I have to take off right now. Yeah, Mark is back, so just bring him in. All right. Okay. I'm gonna say something controversial. I think once we fixed the forward line, hopefully getting another striker, I think we need two sixes. Maguire has Maguire because this lack of because this lack of six thing that we've had for years is ridiculous. And we don't we can't afford to get one because if that one gets injured, then we're screwed again. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, you know, earlier on Jarvis was mentioning tempo. But for me, this game, it's more about uh, we're not winning the first balls, especially in the middle, in central areas. Oh, tempo, winning, winning. I feel I feel like the tempo could be could be could be okay. But like well, if you saw the first minute, from the first minute, we were just sort of like trying to just play the, the ball was never in on the ground. Everybody's just playing the ball. And that's how Brentford want to play. Brentford are those people that they're very physical. And and that lack of physicality has for us has led to Brentford getting all the little half chances that they've been getting and mm -hmm. and and I saw I saw like moments where uh uh Lindelof he could have he Ivan Tony could have done him there just the same way Phil Foden did him you know and it's just Ivan Tony who was not clinical enough and Lindelof I don't know it seems like you just drop a shoulder you lose mm -hmm. it you, and then you get a clean shot you know 
Uh, the other person that I want to say also Rashford weak shot, weak foot is really weak. <laughs> like I haven't, I saw like him just, you know, like creating sort of a little opportunity and then the ball goes all the way to, to the other stand, you know. Um, uh, the other one last thing that I wanted to mention too was that um, Varane has been really nice. I, I saw Varane um, um, being sort of like the, our last, last, last solution and he's been good. That's the one of the few players that I can say, like, for me, that I'm, I'm proud of them. But we're giving Brentford too much respect, too much. And it's just below the standard that I'm hoping for, for that we play in. I think uh, Vegeta is right. We need more than one six to really get us uh, uh, to, 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 to unlock this, how we play. So, you know. I haven't heard, uh, you know, uh, Omo have Omo has Omo spoken. The game is on, so I I need to to uh, to leave, guys. But uh, good game, and I speak to you afterwards after the game. Okay, bye. Big up, Jarvis. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think Rashford was the only one trying to make like trying to make something happen in the first half. You know, Garnacho has been horrible. Holland, um, Hoyland, no service again, and like. He's just isolated and struggling up, up top. So we need we need somebody like Ahmad in this game, man. But it's unfortunate we don't have that option. Yeah, I think that's why somebody like Amino, if we could have switched him to a box-to-box, because what we need to unlock a team like Brentford is quick passing. And unfortunately, Bruno doesn't have anybody to play the ball off, which is why we're probably going wide. But our right-hand side right now is a bit limp which is why most of our play has been coming from the left, which is also, probably why you see... I also think Toby Main is isolated, man. Like, he's been alone. He's been lost in that midfield today. Like, yeah, yeah. Tomine yeah. beside him is it's, it's just... It was suicide. Uh, this is not the game for, for, for McTominay to start in. This was never the game for McTominay to start in. 100%, but we don't have anything else. You know, Casemiro injured. You know what I mean? I'm being honest when what I say do you I mean don't we don't like... have anything else, bro. We have like four midfielders on the bench. Ooh, bro. Who is the four mid midfielders on the bench that go on? We Come on. Casemiro, we have we have Eros in Armorbat. There's Ericsson Stuffy on the bench. Amrabat is slow and clumsy, bro. He is he sold as a dream, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I tell him, man, bro. I tell him, man, him bro. The F-con as bro well. Do you really My think Amrabat or these other guys can really do worse than McTominay right 100%, now? Hundred percent, bro. Like I know, even making an argument there, McTominay is way more phys- way more, way quicker to the ball. Everything in a situation, bro. He have more pace. Everything he provide. More. I think, I think yeah, Ten Hag started with McTominay in this bro. game for his for his height. Probably, because but that's playing a lot of long games, was that, fit. That's just oh. that's just we, it, man. We wouldn't have that. He's not, he's not offering anything else. Yeah, but can I be honest? We need to stop this. Can this person do it? We're comparing turds with turds, like a poo. Is 100% a poo. though. <laughs> I'm just looking at it from the perspective that we, you know, the starting midfielder who would have been playing, would he not available because he injured? And we don't have much else better to say uh, dramatically better that could come in and replace. So it's oh. almost like for like whether you pick McTominay or you bring on, you bring on Amrabat. You know, Mason Monk just come from injury, so you already know how Tenna are going to play him, bro. He's not going gonna to play like 30 minutes, 20 minutes for the next two games before he get a full start, bro. It's just one of those things. Yeah. And Ten Hag has to do that because the medical team, they're fraudulent, bro. We can't depend on them. So Ten Hag has to take his time to, like, embed these players in the squad. And it's... It's it's killing us, bro. Like exactly. McTominay should not start this game, but because of the injuries, Ten Hag has to take his time to put these players in and give them match fitness. Yeah. If, if if Ten Hag knows that McTominay is 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 best coming off the bench, why can you not, you know, try and be inventive as a as a coach and find a different sort of way of of uh, arranging your your formation so that you know you have McTominay come off the bench and you, you, you but to put who like like bro like come on maybe, maybe, to put who maybe, bro like you all you all sat in the top that's FIFA bro you all sat in the top oh, FIFA no, no, manager no, no. bro you all that's wanna play what, a back a back three you all wanna play a back three tonight bro when we never play a back three all season that, really, bro well that is on ten hog if he doesn't know what we doing here bro what we doing here bro 
It's, That's it's exactly not- what I'm asking. What is Ten Hag doing? Because he doesn't. He playing to his style, maintaining his style to as best as he could with what we have, and that's what we should be doing, bro. Sucks. His style bro, it's sucks. Not his style sucks. Is the is the players that we have not playing to the best, bro? And it's not really because of Eric Ten Hag's style sucks. It's because the player sucks. Most of bro, the players, bro, have been a manager for seasons, bro. A manager yeah. can't polish a third, bro. Yeah. No other manager could polish these thirds, but we want Ten Hag to polish them, bro. Make it make sense. No, me. I want Ten Hag to polish his tactics to be uh, more iman- imaginative. You have to no find taking me, solutions. Not That's why you no getting the big me. bucks. Not making no sense to me. Bro. But if you because have they don't have any players, the player really. is not really good the same players. It's not like a different color chessboard. It's not checkers. It's the same exact players. That we have for the last three, four seasons doing the same rubbish, but our next manager is supposed to do better well, with change them. Change the rubbish. Change the rubbish. Why change do you keep playing the rubbish? That's my issue. With you don't who, have Papi? to play them. With who? With who? <laughs> you <laughs> have me to give you can have solutions? No. It's 10 I can give you an solutions, you know, but the club didn't want to help solution. him. They didn't want to sell these players in the summer. They didn't want to sell the players last season. Bro, you all want to keep Rashford. Bro, you all want to keep the Mitchell. managers. You want to keep all these money. players. And the thirds, bro. It's, it's the end of the yeah, day, bro. Yeah. Arrange the thirds so they don't look turdy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that is impossible, bro. That is impossible. You're, you're bro, I actually believe there's something bro. in these players' contracts theoretical, that say they theoretical have to play theories, bro. Not really, bro. Because I don't see why Ten Hag keeps speaking them like, there's got to be something in that contract that says they've got to play this amount of games each season because it's weird, man, to see Ten Hag picking these shit players every game. And Bro, but we already know we have so many injuries, bro. I don't understand oh. what you're even talking about. Oh, bro, no. almost all our players are fit. What do you mean we have injuries, bro? What are you talking about all the players fit, bro? Where Martinez? He just come back from injury. Where, where, where him? Where him? He on the bench, right? He's on where, the bench. He's where's Casemiro injured? injured. Where's Casemiro injured? He on the bench. Well, he's on you the think bench. Right? Would want to, wouldn't want to he's start. On the bench, bro. How can he say he's on the bench? Bro, if he come on the, on the field and he pull a hamstring, bro. If he come on the field and pull a hamstring, he's taking up space. Bro. Your fellas not making up space on the bench. Oh, how did Hoyland miss that, man? I think he was offside anyway, bro. But still, just put it in the net and just True, just, but... just go to VAR. <laughs> just go to VAR. <laughs> oh, it's so close, though. That was so close. Come on, Yale, Yale, That's exactly the point that I have, Yale, right now. It's like, who cleared Casemiro to go take up space on the bench? Bro, if he's not who rich, else you want to go on the bench? Who else? Who you want to put a, 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 a nine, at 18 year old on the bench who that's never better, played before? That's better in the long run for that 19 year old. You go and sit on the bench to watch. You go and give yeah. him an yeah, game against the best team experience. Can I be honest? I think open up your mind. Open up your mind. Even Dan Gore. No, 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 no. Okay. Can I be honest? I think because when the, the, the reports say that when he went to Barcelona or wherever the hell he went, that's not Manchester. They said, "Look, it is something, but you just need to rest, to rest, and then you'll be good." So, um, probably that doctor is who Cass would have consulted to say, "Am I good enough to go back?" Because if Cass is gonna pull himself out of the national team, I don't see himself him forcing himself oh, to play. Oh, what here. a save, Onano! Yeah, I, I, I know same visit. But, you know, I mean, he on the bench because maybe he could come on and get 20 minutes. So, Ten Hag saving him. Bro, the, fe- the fellas on the field had to perform. Now that we know what they're capable of, we've been seeing it for seasons, bro. So, we had to uh-huh. deal with it, bro. It's not like if, bro, men, men are can like if these players could suddenly turn into prime in Yester sometime, bro. Like, That's this is, bro. Save, bro. But you know, But you know what I would have no, tried? No, no, nobody's I asking them to be in Yester, bro. We're just playing Ben G Tech Stadium, <laughs> bro. This is the same brand that men was saying should have with a with a pump we up and all that and all kind of thing. So I don't understand. Oh, no. You're playing uh, Brentford. It's, so it's... one minute is just Brentford. Next minute, Brentford is a tough team to beat. Which one it is, bro? Let me make up my mind. Tough, here. tough team to beat. United, United is just a weird team, man. We we'll play well in the big games, and then when it comes to these small games, we we just like start the game absolutely bro. shit, and like we don't have any idea what to do on the pitch, bro. It's just yeah. so annoying. Like, they can turn up for the big games, and when it matters, when the pressure is on, they turn up. But when 
we actually need the points to like go another level above and they just like play absolutely shit bro it's just so frustrating well they're the same guys who complain about training late so what do you expect so the one thing i would have said is <laughs> Honestly, like these are the they complain about training. They can they complain that Ronaldo says no more jello, eat healthy. They, they don't know what they want. They don't they know. Want to be healthy. Bro, this is why we're talking about, bro. They, they don't I, know. Like, bro, all I say is that I rather get rid of some of these players than I get rid of a manager because these players think to, to keep them for another manager, come and give them a chance. Bro, for me to go through our next 18 months for this. Nah, well, bro, you can't take this. I went to it uh, once again when I didn't want to do that since 2022. You know what I mean? Uh, bro. Fidget spinner is on. Fidget but spinner. You, know, you hear the kind of you hear the kind of rhetoric because men calling the man the man who scored the biggest goal of the game against Liverpool. He's a fidget spinner tonight. No, 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 no. I'm He's I'm like, reading Red Jay's comment, bro. Yeah, I read it, Red Jay comment too, but I not go and read that out loud, bro. He's a very, very this was Reggie, Reggie ramping on Ahmad so great because he scored the winner. Anton, if Anton nah. didn't score, bro, we'd never have a winner to talk about. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm you happy understand? for Anthony, but he's still a very expensive Beyblade. You want to see that consistency? Very expensive Beyblade. Eh? <laughs> very expensive Beyblade, eh? Bomber, <laughs> bro. <laughs> ruthless on here, you know, violations on violations. Don't worry, bro. The fidget spinner go and bag a goal again tonight. Ah, then yeah, I'll yeah. Another post. Go and fidget oh, again and bag it and bag up. This time he go bag what he left. Watch. He must bag and then I'll play the Beyblade uh, theme song. There's Beyblade over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't have my own YouTube channel. This is what I do when I get on other people's channels. <laughs> <laughs> and the is this the weird part? Are you in South Africa right now? Yeah, I'm in South Africa, bro. Which part? I'm in Josie, jo Johannesburg. Okay, big up Josie in the house. Nice. Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, we have to make jokes, bro. This game is dead. This game is. <laughs> I don't know, bro, but you know, if Trinidad ever had a Bob said team, I wouldn't be watching that movie. Be you know, <laughs> you know what's what's funny? If you watch um volleyball, it's it's far more exciting than what we're seeing right now. Uh, bro, um, I mean, I was tempted to tell it to say something on that comment there, but because I know which volleyball they're talking about there, but you know, I'll keep it real and keep it moving. We're making jokes, but right now everybody will take a smash and grab. No, bro, I definitely you know, said no. I don't minutes, care how we win. Still win this game, bro. I'm not even stressing too much, bro. I don't, I don't know why. I'm I don't give crazy, a bro. damn how we win. People want Tiki Taka with the last ten games. Are they sick? I just want bro, three I points, bro. Points. I just want three points, bro. I swear. One nil, four nil, three nil, two one, three one, three two. There's I a reason one. why they call this the business and the yeah, All bro, right, bro. I am in. Big, Big up, up my brother. All I just say in tonight, that Greetings one. Greetings to that... everybody. Greetings, Greetings to everybody in that bro. ten hard defense league. Yeah, all of you, you all need to be flogged. You all need to come out, line up, and get flogged. You see, you man, that bro, we got with smokes Liverpool, with Liverpool. Bro, I am watching this match and I'm pissed. I'm not even yeah. pissed at the team. I'm pissed at the man them that were telling me Eric Ten Hag is the truth because he's <laughs> in Liverpool. You man were telling me keep Scott McTominay, keep Anthony. I what didn't am tell I you that, bro? but <laughs> what is this? Yeah, yeah, what is this? You know, <laughs> at least I didn't say we should get John McGinn. So I let I let you know right now, bro. I let you know right now. That take will live forever, McGinn? bro. John McGinn is better than anything I am seeing right now. No, Bro, so just me. Charles, 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 I don't know Listen. if he's smoking a big crack from Didi. You need Brother, to stop this. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you're the same you person who's going to get to Southgate, today. and you're going to be kissing Southgate. Stop it. Yeah. You're not confused. Yeah. I'm telling you, you guys are mad confused. I say they get a player. Yeah, what's I'm going on, right? Like Charles, I'm going to ask two questions, right, Charles? I want to ask everybody in the chat and the panel two questions, right? What are the two major facets of a rebuild of any club? Let me start, right? One is incomings, and where's the most important factor? Outgoings. Outdoors. Have we seen outgoings on the level of any club that was above us, Liverpool, Arsenal, <clears throat> City, 
in when they started their rebuild under Pep Club and, and Guardiola? Yes. I mean, uh, Pep Club and Arteta? No. Yes. We yes. have not seen any outgoings yes. because in their first seasons, each one of them had more than seven to eleven players leave the club. We have not had seven leave the club yet. Bro, we've been like but, this for no, the no, last, no, no, no. You see, for the my last own, decade. My own push, you know, my own we all know we're there. shit at selling players, man. What are we my doing own, here? I'm, I'm sorry, but everything there, I, I am actually against it because at the beginning of this of the season, yeah, the team we had. Barring what Maguire and McTominay, it was the team that Eric Ten Hag wanted. What? Yes. Eric Barring Maguire wanted, and McTominay. Eric Ten Hag wanted. Eric Ten Hag wanted Frankie De Jong. Where is he? Brother, he wanted Frankie De Jong. Him, but where is he? Want us. This is no. We cannot. Bro, he, he wanted. He wanted, wanted Rabiot. Where is he? He wanted Rabiot. Where is he? Who wanted? Bro, he wanted Zabi Simons. Where is he? I'm sorry, but. I he wanted Kim Min Jae. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Because Let's not do that. This, no. Oh, because we're not serving the agenda now. Listing, okay. All these players you are listening, they don't want us. Kim oh, they don't want us. Kim Min Jae wanted, wanted Bayern. Frankie, they oh, don't Kim Min Jae wanted want Bayern or Bayern break the resources first. Regardless yeah. of whoever it is, Man United doesn't do good business, bro. That's Brother, not the manager Fabrizio fault. Fabrizio Romano said it himself, or was it David Ornstein? Kim Min Jae wanted bro, we Bayern. We we he did not want us. Bro, De bro, Jong does not want us. I'm, bro, no, I'm not De Jong had this. been owed fifteen million. Don't make up stuff that don't exist, bro. bro. Yes. By, by, the, Barcelona not win money. If they paid him that money, he would have left. Let me what be real about mean? life. This, Nobody see, leaving fifteen million behind, bro. You Listen, not yeah, it, I not we, had, we had the money, we were just fucking around, and then they decided to get Mason Mount as their priority signing. That is false. That is categorically false. We were Big linked to Mason, to Mason Mount since the beginning of the transfer window. It was Mason bro, Mount we was that linked was his to Mason signing. Mount. Mickey let's Mount. Do this. Let Mickey us, Mount. Bro, you think he's a player supposed to be wearing number they, seven they, then? They, no, he isn't. He, he is he is not, but he was who it's your manager what, wanted. That I don't believe that one bit, bro. That we can't we can have the argument of whether they are good or not, and I will agree with you, a majority are poor. But what I'm saying is the team we have right now, when the when the season started, a majority of these players were Eric Ten Hag's players. They were players ha, that you wanted no, to bro. keep. How, how, how they become Eric Ten Hag players? He didn't buy the majority of these players. We talked about, about to ask. Making... That's what I want to ask. Bro, these men have been making up United? something to the narrative, bro. I don't Wait, understand these, this hold travesty hold that are going on here, bro. Okay, travesty, okay, fine. Bro. Let, now let us let us do this, yeah. From 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 position, go goalkeeper. Did Eric Ten Hag want oh, Nana? Yes or no? Yeah. Left left yeah. back. Luke yeah. Shaw. Did Eric Ten Hag want Luke Shaw? Yes or no? Who knows, bro? He was at the club oh, for the last days. decade. Why are we doing this? Why are we do? I don't know, okay. bro. The fan you have crazy. Eric, no, do you have Eric? Con do you have Eric's number? Do you know that he wanted Luke Shaw? Because you're saying this with certainty. Oh, and this is what I said about United. Really? Like to speak. No, 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 no. I'm tired of United really? fans doing this. We like to speak in absolutes as if we are there. How do you know that he wanted these people with such certainty? Because Luke Shaw wasn't on any transfer list and he has played doing, every... Whenever Jesus. he is fit, Luke Lord, Shaw you know, plays you know without is. doubt. Whether it is left centre back, left left back, Luke Shaw is his guy. Right so, back bro, is, tell is, me right is, is, now, is his is that guy. All decisions made at Manchester United Football Club are made solely by the person who occupies the management seat. Is that what we're saying right now? No. But what I does that have to do with... Say, with what does that have to do with anything when Eric no, but you said, no, you no, are no, saying no, no. that listen, Luke listen, Shaw listen. wasn't transfer listed. Listen, right? listen. That's, what you, that's your argument for saying that he wants him here. He wasn't transfer listed. So that's solely on Eric Ten Hag is what you're saying. No. That's what I'm hearing. It isn't solely on, on Eric Ten Hag. So yeah? how do you know See, he no, didn't want to sell him? Can I, can I speak? So Go now, ahead, when it comes to transfers, there are three people involved. Can we agree? Yes. Okay, Name so them. it is Eric Ten Hag. Yes. I'd, like this was summer Eric Ten Hag, Myrtle and Arnold, right? Listen to that, Jesus. Right? Okay, cool. Listen to that, Jesus. I agree. It is a bad. It is a bad group. Now, oh, Eric Ten Hag took an extra how many months to negotiate his contract so that he would have a say in transfers? Yes or no? Yes, he did. It's in his contract. Okay, cool. So he has included himself in that group. So whenever transfers go wrong, we are not going to call out Arnold and Morto and leave Eric Ten Hag. All of them have to take the blame. Every single one. Yes or no? 
but you're only blaming Ten Hag right now. Oh, so you're, brother, you're see, mute. I am blaming Ten Hag because we are playing a match right now, and he's the manager in the dugout, and the team it is his team. He is the one controlling them, telling them what to do. He set up this team. This is his setup. So I'm talking about him. In the in the in the summer, we always talk about Arnold and Murto being useless because they are slow. We will not talk about Arnold and Murto when we're playing Brent. You see, even the Holy Spirit like... does not like what you're saying right now. Exactly. The spirit of Manchester say we don't want to hear you. Can sorry, I sorry, can, I, can I just say something? Can I just say something, Mark? Manchester mm -hmm. United fans like to operate in extremes, and that's we're the most miserable fan base. They can never be a middle ground. These, how can we say that these are Eric's players when when we look at the squad team? Some most of these guys have played for Louis Van Gaal, they've played for Mourinho, and they've played for Ralph Regnick and Oli. How on earth are these? The, and also, the point that we made earlier is that Ten Hag hasn't been given a chance to actually sell people. Because we don't know how to sell to begin with. We only got people now the other day who might sell. We don't even know if they'll do a good job or not. But all, all of a sudden, everything is Ten Hag's fault. Guys, come on. How, how often are we going to play this dance as if these players are going to not do the same thing, even if you bring Pep Guardiola to this club tomorrow? Let's not do this, guys. Because if Pep comes tomorrow and we see the same thing, we're not seeing hey, Tiki Taka and Pep just coming and on, bro. Lucha coming on in a bad way, bro. Lind Lindelof has looked like he's out for the rest of the season. I hope so. We need bro. better players. Bro, this guy is fearless, bro. He yeah, remember. Lindelof, I think he's got a go. For me, that's... that's... Yeah, no, we're not disputing that he had a go, Papi. Trust. Yeah, bro. It's, it's like you can beat him by just faking him. I think, you, ah, man, it's, 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 he's like such a. I would say the same player. about Jared Brandtwaite. Eh? Jared mm -hmm. Brandtwaite, every beat, every time Ganacho twist left, he was on the floor kissing grass. So I feel mm -hmm. like maybe 70 million for that fella is a little bit too overrated. You for know what I mean? Yeah. I, I Jared I maybe. Bro, Matt, bro, they had a field day, bro. They deal with that, you know, bro. They had that kissing grass, bro. The, the man whole white pants was green. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's not looking. I ain't mind, yeah. I ain't mind if Lin yeah. Lindelof yeah. out for the season because then we might be able to see our Willie Kwambala again some games. You know what I mean? And to me, to be fair, I would like to see Willie get some games. I'm being honest, bro. Yeah, like what? <laughs> what has he done? How can he <laughs> get? How can he, how can he get bro, games bro? when we have people like Maguire and Lindelof in the club, man? Well, I mean, at the same time, you, you know, put them on the on the bench and let him start. Too. That's how it's games. Too, you know what I mean? Is that a is that a pay your dues? Just put them on the bench. Yeah, but Plus, you gotta get rid of senior players, bro. You always had to get rid of senior players, bro, because you can't keep you can't keep benching them and paying that's them. The most, that's the most and... important thing. We have to get rid of the senior guys, some of them, and that's the only way these guys will get a chance to like show what they can do. You know. Yeah, and Lisa also must just say we need to stop torturing ourselves. The, the window's closed. Unfortunately, the players we have are the players we have until I the end of this season. I was about to say that Vegeta was about to say that because we're talking transfer windows during a football game right now. But Bro, <laughs> we need to operate within what we have right now. Unfortunately, where we supposed to be? A conversation. Definite snatch and grab going down tonight. You know, because we're getting three points. I've seen it here. Bro, like, what is this, bro? Bro, I don't know why you keep complaining, bro. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, you're acting like if we don't know these players for the last four or five seasons, bro. Come on, bro. Four nil, four nil, four one. Mm -hmm. I, I did say four one, though, but I was expecting Hoyland to be a little bit clinical, more clinical today. I'm I just gonna Bradford say one thing: come out firing. If Brentford score, we're not coming back, man. Yeah. No, no I think I don't believe in that, bro. Not I, I think it, it it depends when they score. If they're scoring like the 80th minute, yeah, game game over. But if they score now, we could probably win two one. Yeah, we'll actually start playing football. Charles. Exactly. Uh, it'll be too late. Sure like, one, once, once start to play football already, guys. Watch me. Just attack. Do whatever you want. What? We are going to score goals. 
<laughs> you know what we should have done? We should have printed their Brentford t shirts with the Liverpool names. Maybe we would have played better. I'm speaking like that scouts accent. That will fire these guys up. Anthony has already had his first shot off target. One more to go, then the third one will be on target. Let's see. <laughs> should, have put, should have put Jota on the back of uh, Tony. Oh, oh, Rash, Rash. Bro, that wasn't oh, too far off, you know. That wasn't too far off. Like that. They're very close. Anthony is, he, 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 I'm not surprised. Three, three. You just watch, Mark. The next shot will be off target, and then the third one will be on. I oh, know Anthony. That was actually a decent effort. Hey, Damn. Yeah. Now, now let the football begin. Brentford has scored. Oh, it's offside. Offside, offside, offside. offside. No. I know saying I know watching it like I, I know yeah. watching it and I say like somebody see that How they give it all already this? because I see my watching. There. I watch them Bremo running off like a this, killer. Bro. Wait, the Brentford score? Yes, yes thank God offside. for Tony, what bro. Thank God, like he pull up there, he pull up there. Thank God, time to come off the field. Come off the field, Tony. One time with us. I won the terrible game. strikes. You know, United is the only team that will face a team that's lost four times before them and give them three points. We're the yeah. only team that does that, bro. I was, I was, yeah, yeah. We are I was laughing at Tottenham. Now this I'm is home. close. This is close. I that think it's real offside. Real. No, 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 no. Ah, he's I, off. They, they he's offside. Offside. He's offside. He's offside. He's offside. He's offside. It's really close. Though. Even if you that look at his natural off, bro, bro. they better draw this thing from like he, he has to be offside. I, I just hope this doesn't do go to zero. Offside. Oh, yeah, unless they, they unless they've got Hollywood yeah. bets and they're gonna draw their own lines because they oh, Hollywood bets. I don't care how they do it. They better make this like no, <laughs> no, the man I don't care. Bro. These people have to be leaning. That further off than the Ghana to goal against oh. against Arsenal. Draw your bets. I'm Arsenal. This has to be offside. I don't care. Hey, yo, Ivo, what are you saying, Broski? He's what? Oh, you got my pubic hair, bro. Hey, <laughs> not, bro. They measure the pubes on Ganacho, bro. We don't yeah, do it. Yeah. By a millis, by a millimeter, bro. Ganacho go by a millimeter. He has to be outside. So exactly. That's, that's our second it. warning, hey, because in the first half, Tony hit the pole. Or somebody yeah, hit the, the second warning. We saw hit the pole. Time to bag. In the second half, it's off. Yeah, we saw hit the pole. Second half, it's off. Yeah, we saw hit the pole. Second half, it's off. Bro. This is like our third one in at, at this point. Yeah. Actually, no, this is like our twelfth one in. These guys 12th are one in. they only have two shots on target, King. What are we talking about here? How many times they hit the post, King? Once, and that was the one that shot on target, bro. This was the this was the other shot on target for the game. Bro, Brentford have absolutely peppered us this game. Bro. I don't know what you're watching, but the stats show that this is the bro. second shot on target. I just this I just I just point it to you like that. And because it's offside, it's just one shot on target all game. But we're playing so, perfectly into their game plan. I hear that much. Yeah, bro. Because they set up to just hold on, our chance will come, and we'll take it. We have not created a clear cut chance the whole game. Nah, Eric, why is Ericsson not on the pitch, bro? I, I know he's got no luck. It's Fifteen minutes. Ericsson can can thread a pass through. He can do something. Like it's yeah, the pacemaker is not in there. No, Scott needs to come off now. We don't need his height anymore. Yeah. More time for Scott to come off. Where is Rashford? No jogging back, I think. Um, you know, I think you might have missed the second time. Uh, uh, so it's Ivan Tony who hit the post and uh, uh, the other guy, jo Jogensen. Right, Two right. Times. Two shots on target, bro. All game. Yeah. They've Two hit the post three. and they've had three shots on target. And that was a really good save that one. I'm oh, a shot on post is a shot on target, eh, bro. This, this is Brentford Thomas. Yeah, Brent. Brent. That's what I mean to say. That yeah, but look, look at the look at the difference with uh, Brentford. Yes. Right? When we get in position, Rashford not taking no shot. Brent, when he did Brentford. take a shot, as a powder puff. You know what I mean, bro? The manager not telling these fellas not to take shots, bro. Come on, <laughs> let me be real about it. But then I need to start telling our wingers to start beating for the Highland. This is getting ridiculous now. Brother, they can't create if they're in the wrong positions. It's not possible. <laughs> it is not possible. They can't create anything if they're in the wrong positions. 
And if you're playing the like Rashford has never been a creator, never. Why are we asking and him to create? And I don't think he'll ever be after what I saw exactly. in the training. I think Rashford is what he is, bro. Exactly. That guy is look down and keep doing what you do. He doesn't look up at all. Same for uh same what's for, his name? Garnacho is just a, a little better, but they are both the same. They are both goal or oriented wingers. Yeah. 100%. We Those actually, aren't creators. It's like Jacob guys, bro. We need people to cross on this team. He doesn't want he to play them. Bro, our history was built on wingers, bro. It's just so it's sad just to see what we've we'll become, man. Yeah, well, it's fun to wonder what to be on the left wing. Brother, how are we losing? Every, bro, we're losing the, the ball in every tackle. I, I can't believe this. Charles. We play like a we play like a bunch of pussies, bro. Bro, like we're just like, so slow to everything. So we're not aggressive. We just ah, uh, so fuck. This is like Sunday League versus League One, and we are Sunday League. <laughs> bro, bro Charles, sometimes I see I like your takes, but sometimes I feel like you're too far off, eh, bro. You're too far well, off. Eh. Will we playing next in the FA Cup again? Because if this is how we're we playing against four teams, teams. no, it's, it's not we got it. Commentary was was the look good again. If this is I, I, if we're I, matching I, the level I, of the I, opponent, every single player dropping on the feet, then I read JZ the referee. We are going to go life or death with commentary. Crazy. <laughs> no, I think Charles might be right because it just seems like we're matching the level of the opponent. If it's we, Liverpool, yeah. we play Liverpool. If it's Brentford, we play Brentford level. Like we don't have our own level for some no. reason. No, see, yeah, Liverpool yeah. is the derby. Derbies are different. It's I, of course they did. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, it's okay. We are scumbagging. Brentford, right now, <laughs> if we get a point, we have come back Brentford for a point. I cannot <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 let me let me start again. Let me at least be positive until the game, I don't and then what we to say. Down, I don't know what's going on, bro. Like, this, this is the moment where you want to see Eric Ten Hag outside one day and just have a conversation. <laughs> bro, bro, you just, bro, bro, you just bro, want to I know what you're saying. What is going on? Man, what's the How many times now they hit the post block? I'm just counting the post. Oh, it's still in going yeah. in there. Try not counting. It's not goal, bro. Bro, you just you think I just count how much if times United hit Ivan post against our team, bro? Boom, I don't boom, care. Boom, 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 Can I be honest? The, the, one, the one thing that's been concerning this for me this season is the consistency of conceding 20-plus goals. 20-plus chances, oh sorry. For, for, for a team that's trying to go... Who's coming bro. off? We are in trouble. <laughs> we are in eh? trouble. Who's coming on? This is, this this is what we Finally, from you and Mason Mount coming on. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> days. Man <laughs> like Mount. Ah. We've conceded this game. We've conceded. We are giving up. This guy left. Scott McTominay on the pitch. That's took out Reno. Took out Rashford. But he wants a goal. Ah. <laughs> But watch us get the ball. Rubbish whole game. Watch us get the ball at the end of the game, like like right at 80th minute. Bro, one nil. Watch yeah. McTominay score and yeah. even if go. <laughs> if we win this game one nil, and I hear United fans gassing it, I will lose my mind. Well, lose your mind, bro. Like, I go and gas it up just because you're on stream. If McTominay scores and people gas it, I will lose my mind. I don't care. <laughs> what if McTominay scores? Because I've watched seven. It will be absolutely beautiful, draws. man, if he scores. Seven if Mount scores a best. Mount. Mount? If Mount scores, I can't Mount score in a goal, to be fair. I, 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 I <laughs> let Mount score. I will actually film it and just be like, cool, we are we are <laughs> shit, but Mount scored. But you <laughs> see, if McTominay scores and they gas him, talking about keep him till next season, I will lose I, my mind. No, 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 we're not keeping nothing until next season. This guy needs to score. I will lose it, bro. Because now, <laughs> man, then took this mix off. Have it text. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Have it text. Yes, he was worth 60 million. Yeah. Have, have it text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We are finished. Brother, how, 
This guy's uh, on these Brentford no, players, no. Are, these Brentford players diving on the ground for every little thing. Wham, there's cockroaches. Also, I, I just want to point beat. this out. <laughs> and they also so stars. Did you see how Bueno pushed his own player to take the shot in the last phase of play? Bro, yeah. he literally pushed his own player to get a shot. That's how we should be moving, bro. I need to see Hoyland kicking Rashford. I don't care. <laughs> Oh no! I, don't, I need oh. to see. Bro, we don't promote violence. <sighs> bro, get a, get a goal, guys. I just need three points. Yeah, I just yeah, need three points, bro. I'm being honest. Bro. I don't. I don't know what we need at this at this point. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> bro, oh be like Papi days. and Drex in that moment, eh, bro. Oh my days. Oh my days. <laughs> Brother, these... <laughs> Mata Tech FC. Bro, bro Mata, I don't know what Mata to say. Mata Tech FC, you know, you come up, Bruno, you don't know, bro. Brentford, bro. Guys, guys, one word. Better help. That's what you need as a United fan. Better help. <laughs> Absolutely. Bro, I felt like Papi bro, and Drex. I'm, I'm telling you, this that's the most bro. likely thing to happen. We can scumbag back this game one nil. And bro, bro, I not even pex, bro. Three points is all I want, bro. You can't. Come on, man. We bro, can cheat and win. Now, bro. Just need to and win. That's all we get have to do. Happy, yeah, happy. Yeah. Well, I don't want. To, I don't want to hear style of play, guys. Just need two points. <laughs> Anybody who's the first is going to be one. Like, like, for the next eight minutes, I need three points. But after the match ends, oh, Come back and help me, bro. oh my! Again, I'm not going to get this two point. points in coming. Yeah, cause I hear the, I feel like the fellas here, yeah, bro. Three points in coming. Bautis, United Bautis Am I the only one that can barely hear Mark? United about to score. You can. I don't know. Maybe. Don't worry, Charles. You're not missing much. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Papi. Papi, all right, okay. Come on, bro. Just now we go higher, like, like you know, you know that um, you know that clip of um, what's his name? The that was now. a stray shot. TSI. That was a, a serious uh, stray. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, the guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it's one of those games you couldn't have watched as a journalist. <laughs> I'd still I'd come back come afterwards back. and act like we watched it, bro. Like, yeah, man. Rash was not great on the ball. Watch nothing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's literally. Oh, oh. Do you know uh, the uh, of these that, players? Uh, these players and and also the manager too. They're getting the smoke today. They have to. They have to. Everybody has to. Everybody. Every single person. Like the the players. Not so much, but you see ten ten hog, he has to get it. You see all the defense league, they have to get it. Bro, yeah. you had to get it and hold it, bro. Because like, what's going on? Proper we need to run these guys. Bro, what, what did I just witnessing? Witnessing. Witness this fam. What Never in my mind did I think Harry Maguire would be the last like what oh my days. Wow. Wow. You know this team is so sad. Mbwemo came on and he's looking like the best player on the on the pitch. Brother, Mbwemo looks like prime. I don't even know speed off or something. Bro, it's that Maguire stupid. moment is a sign, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it's a sign. Yeah, which is, like, look at him, bro. Harry Maguire. Look at look at look at it, bro. bro who you want to do? Lindelof injured. Who you want to come on? Not like Harry Beckenbauer. Bro. Harry Maguire is the man Beckham to stop corners and bro. free kicks, bro. You need that slab head to slab away the ball. Beckenbauer. What the stop hell? It. I think uh, if hey, we need to allow it, we need yo. Money to wait, sit. hold on, it's hold on. That pass into nothingness from Lissandro, bro. Yeah. I'm a dog now, bro. Man, ah, micromanaging. I'm a loose no, pass, bro. Come on, bro. Like, what that's is it. football that's you watching it. here, bro? That's it. That's it. We can't even trust the players that we usually trust. Nah. The man make a bad pass, bro. Come I on, don't bro. Trust he's, he's, he's shit, man. I, know, I trust Dalu 120%. Pass. I, I, I don't just, trust just Dalu is the only player I can hang my fortunes on. He's the man, bro. I hang on my Everyone else? On my land, bro. No player on this team, bro. Zero. None of them have my trust. Actually, I take that back. Dalo and Mainu. Everybody else. 
You know what? Mino will be exempt because it's, it's his breakthrough season. I'm happy for him. But the rest, I don't trust him. Mino will be exempt because he's top five best midfielders in the league this season. Yes, I don't care. I choose when they want to show up or when they don't want to show up. Like, all, like everything else? Uh, like, no, 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 no. Not this guy. Not this guy. Ah, uh, Mope. Yeah. See, what? if, if Mope scores, it's a Jeez, bro, that's our, that's our chance. Easy, 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 easy. You watch this, you watch this. You watch this. You watch this. Oh, come it, come it, come it. Why are you getting too carried away? If, 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 if. Slow down now, bro. Like, just watch the game for the next 10 minutes, now, bro. Let, let me say, you know, let United snatch and grab and let me just talk about all the only teams that have faced more shots per game than us are Sheffield and Luton. No one that's cares, bro. If it's not on target, I don't care, bro. I'm being real honest, bro. Sheffield and Luton. The shots that hit in men's foot. Shots that go in. We are in trouble. Over the goal. I don't know, 20, 20 yards wide. We are in serious bro. trouble. Yeah, that, needs to come, that, that needs to come down next season. Those 20 chances every game. No, no. If we had more consistency with the back line, Do you know what's going to be actually for the next, next season? Down, I'm willing, we'll willing to bet to if we keep Eric Ten Hag, we will be playing a new system next season. After five minutes, bro, stay on focus, not, stay focus now, Charles. Please, stay focus oh. Next season, we could probably see a back five. Five minutes, you know, bro. Five minutes for the game to end, you know. Proper bro. belief. Anyway, bro. Charles, who do, who do you want? I, I can tell you, yeah, you're not happy with Ten Hag. Who do I want? Predict the league. You know, yeah. predict the league. I don't have, like, personally, my pick would be Hansi. Okay, but uh, I don't yeah, think we're going yeah, to get yeah, Hansi. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. That's a good okay. I'm not mad at that. But there again, Hansi Flick is basically the same, the still, the same thing. If, 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 if not Hansi, whoever or my brother decides to bring in, I would just give him the time. So, so yeah. the next manager yeah. coming, we're going to get three seasons, this, right? This, 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 nothing can be worse than what I am watching. See, if these guys bring in Potter, I will back Potter. Get him off, bro. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. You can't just disrespect no boss. Charles, this guy said you break anybody. We've been we've been linked to Southgate. We've been linked to meet some guy called O'Neill. I don't know who the heck that guy is. Charles, this guy is bad. Man, no more pain, no butt way, but I low head, no bro. Let's get Charles back in, please. <laughs> you, know, you, you know what, man? The Hansi Flick one, I feel that. That's continuity. The man That's the... pulled the man into her head. But they, that should be a red card, bro. <laughs> but when he says... Uh... Come just like the fall where they gave out um, how his name today. Literally. This fella from Wait, Newcastle. Wait, hold on, hold on, guys. Gordon. So, for years, we have said we want to bring in a board to handle football matters. A team of experts. And then when those experts make a decision, say, by chance, is to bring in Potter, us, with mind, are going to stand up and say, no, we don't support you. It's that crack. So just can bro, you crack. that is yeah. crack. You <laughs> on crack. Any All of that nonsense, bro, that board not good enough. Fire the board one time, don't shit. I tell you, what's the question? So, if Graham Potter is true, shy Potter, and they bring it out, okay, we must trust these guys because they are football men. Yeah, oh, no. okay, and, and we must back up it. Bro, every, nobody comes, see Potter don't playing rubbish. Southgate nobody here. see po but Potter if playing these rubbish. Bring him in, and on the first day of the season, he is the manager. I am going to back it. I don't care. I have so to. So he was in sixteenth. Eh? I have That's to. Know, in okay, so these six months. Wait, 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 Mark. So wait, if they back Ten Hag, if that's the the co coach of choice, are, are you still going to back it? If they if if they say Ten Hag is the guy, I will back it for okay. for next season. I will back it. I don't I don't care. I wouldn't like it. I don't want it. I, but I will swallow it and I'll back it. Pause. No, did he? <laughs> I'm glad you closed it. Hey yo, hey yo. Charles, we got it. You go get a light spin. Win this time How for real. Let me that with that with that joke. Oh, wow. like, nine minutes. Flip. Yeah, I'm. I'm not doing nine nine minutes. I am heading out now. Forget. 
<laughs> Child will take a draw now at this rate. <laughs> no, like I am literally going out right now. I can't. I, I can't watch this. I'm out. Oh, oh, man. Man. I will come yeah. I'll be back later on, guys. Yeah, there's a reaction video in like half an hour, guys. Whatever this is. Big Thank up you. to you, Charles. Yeah. Take it easy. Night, bro. <laughs> Get some magic while you're at it, bro. <laughs> I'm sure Rance must be losing his mind on Charles his screen. leaving the stadium early. Well. <laughs> you know, he said if he scored like a really good goal and he didn't see it. Uh... Right. Yeah, that would suck. Because you leave the stadium and then you just hear, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I I still don't understand, right? You know, I don't understand. I do understand how Neil Mopay pulled that low into a headbutt and he didn't get a yellow card. The man the literally man pulled him into a headbutt. Oh, it's it's because that's violent conduct, bro. Head the attack one... on the man head from behind. The one thing that um our fans don't always want to realize is that it's always United versus the world. We're too busy fighting inside, we're forgetting that everybody outside of us hates us, including the riffs. Hundred percent, bro. And you know what? I I want them to hate us because we're good. That's what I miss about the old days. Like, yeah, yeah. you can hate us, but you know, next match we're doing the business. Exactly, yeah, bro. I mean, we're not playing so well, bro. I'm being real honest, bro. I'm being real honest, bro. We're not playing so well at all today, but and you know what I mean? At the same time, bro, it's like, bro, these fellas need to be more intense. I can't, you, you could never tell me the manager telling these men to play the way they're playing, bro. Like, being real. Why being are real, bro. That guy stopped a whole attack. You know, you look at. Come on, the last counter of the game. Come on, straight up there, fam. Give Anthony the ball now, bro. Come now, Macy Mount. You stop in there. They still a lot of time, guys. This is three minutes, there's six minutes left. Yeah. Macy Mount supposed to get him on the ball for the longest while, you know, bro. Starting to draw a foul in the midfield and the fast break on. I like, oh, McTominay is still on? He's still on the pitch? Yes, he is. Damn. But you know, but you know what? People criticize when I say they need to strip him of his number seven. I don't give a damn about his hurt feelings. Why is that question even relevant, bro? Sorry, what? <laughs> the kind of stupid questions some people is asked sometimes, bro. I can't be, I cannot say it's stupid, bro, because we already know why we don't have no strike cover. The club didn't want to buy none. <laughs> we had no money. It's just like with the journals asking Ten Hag a stupid question. He's like, didn't you see the game? Are, are you, did you not watch Liverpool? Are you high? His excuse was FFP, right? We didn't sign another striker because of FFP. Correct. Yeah, Ten Hag excuse that the club excuse. Ten Hag is not the man. Ten Hag in a press conference said FFP. Well, right. Well, exactly. He was told. That was what he was told. FFP, we can't afford to sign a new striker. So we don't so, know why we only have one striker. So it's funny why people are asking that same question. Come on. Oh, Scotty. Mm -mm. It's Brentford on the break. Oh, Lord. There's not good. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this here, look at because this referee is a waste, man. Oh, okay. No card. Good for us. You know, they should really consider getting foreign foreign referees in, in these leagues so that there's no bias. You can't have me a, a United game and I'm a United fan. I'm going to be turning a blind eye. Be like, Rashi, don't do that again, bro. Come on. Bro. <sighs> yes, yes, you want to see we are on Newcastle referee, bro. You know, man would have been done sent off already in this game. Got me coming in when I got red card later, you know. Dalo might yep. get we might get a penalty when Dalo but get the head get dragged into a butt. We don't get can't see that penalty there on the um Newcastle referee him. Yeah. Dalo would have got the yellow card inside of Mope. Telling you, bro. Sheesh. Stress FC. Oh. <laughs> Look, I try to injure himself trying to head away the ball. Nobody. Oh. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drive. Rick. Drive. Oh. Ah. Referee. Goal. Come on. Score. Yes. 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 Did we score? Did we score? Come on. Yes. 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 The number seven. Come it back, FBM. What did I say? It had to what be. What did I say? It was written in the stone. What did I say? Look at him. Shame on you, Charles. Look at Charles coming back. Do you want to bring him back? back. I'm, I'm, I'm not bye back. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, Charles. Said it. You're going I back out now. You didn't want to stay for the <laughs> time. Don't come back and don't be on that. <laughs> oh, oh, Mason, man. Hold you all the energy. Wait until after the show. He was going out. I told you guys. Mickey Mount has a goal. Jeez, and you know what I'm saying? I even see Mickey Mount scoring in over reckless one. I said it for me. I said it. What are these scores? Even Thomas Frank is mesmerized, bro. Thomas Frank wants to shut himself, bro, because here yeah, what's going on. No, no, no. They told us 60 million wasted. I told them he will be back and he's back. <laughs> 60 million. Hashtag Kai Vert. Kai Havertz text. Who gave the assist? Was it Casemiro? Was it Casemiro? Don't do that. I told you is the Kai Havertz text. I told you I'd be here, and I'm here. He is here. Oh, what a finish! Oh lord! This left for the big time. goal I'm to be so fair. Shameless. I'm gonna be like to ask you guys. Got the one. Sorry for you guys. Money Mace has arrived. Bro, I'm gonna be drinking the Chelsea. Defense league is strong. The defense league is back. Ain't no way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. <laughs> For my cutback, Nohal. That Maguire tackle on Tony was a sign, bro. I just felt it would happen. I told you guys about this change. You consider uh, 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 do the offside, bro. Do the offside, though. Tony nah. offside, though. Tony was huh? offside. He never come back on side. Tony was offside. He never come back on side, though. Doesn't look like they're checking nothing. Did they score? Bro, they have to check that, bro. Tony was yeah, offside. He never come back yeah. On side. yeah, it is offside. That's offside. Tony is offside. He never come back that's on side. He never run back on side before he get the ball. Yeah, that's offside. Uh, ADB can keep him on side play. because he never come on side. Maybe one Bissaka kept him on. No, look, mm. he made them off oh, oh, come on, you nah, man. nah. What the hell? What the nah, hell? when the ball was played to Tony, he was offside. He offside, bro. Nah, he these guys are offside, man. What are you talking about? They're offside. All three of them are offside. They're all of they literally all offside because the United players are ahead of them. All the United players I had them before the ball was played. Well, Vaz has to check this. They didn't check it. It's a goal. Nah, bro. Well, Vaz checks crazy. every goal, bro. That's wild. That is wild, bro. The entire of wow, the entire that team is outside. wild. What? That is crazy, bro. That is. I see three red shirts across the line straight when that ball playing over. I didn't see no defender. Robbery, bro. Daylight robbery, bro. I daylight oh, that, robbery, bro. That, that, that fellas are offside, bro. Three men are offside. What's it doing oh, here, bro? Nah, bro. I think Juan Bissaka kept him on. You'll Juan see Bissaka, the listen, the, all the three the players were offside. Even the player by, by Juan Bissaka offside. All, none of them make an attempt to run onside. None of them made an attempt to run onside, bro. Wait, I'm gonna rewind this because DSTV lets you do that. I'm gonna go back and see what the hell. <laughs> nice, bro. We need our last minute. Come on, fellas. One set, one minute to go. Let me go. He has Come to on. add a Mickey Mount Brace. Mickey Mount Brace. I'm yeah. calling for it. Mickey You're gonna let him have his head. Come on. I see. Ah, the corner is off target. It landed on Maguire's head, though. 
<sighs> bro, I don't even understand bro, how that is not a, a penalty, bro. So corner. That's gotta be another corner. Can you hear me a penalty? Not a, yes, not a, so. I'm not a, a offside. Bruno, let Mount take the corner. Why is Bruno taking the corner kick? Mount's taking the corner. You see? That's not off Maguire. That come off a Brentford player. That's a corner, bro. Yeah, but why is Bruno taking the second corner? He should never take corners when Mount is on the pitch, bro. I hope these guys get relegated. Come on, Casemiro, man. Pause. Oh, damn. One more second. I played them on side. Yeah. Bro, one more second, bro. Yeah, one more second. I played them on side. All of them. The only guy that was offside was the winger on the other side. Yeah, I, I said it, guys. Don't want to listen. He's off. He's keeping Wabi Saka and fell asleep. I'm a sucker. He's not in line with the rest of the. I'm sucker sleeping. Right, true. He doesn't know him, bro. And men talking about Wan Bissaka left, left by himself. He's not getting enough help. He's not even helping himself, bro. Men were copy to be straining himself to help Bissaka whole game. Even if we draw, we could still come back, bro. No. <laughs> no, we could still get top five, bro. Without even if we draw today, bro, it's not it's not a big deal, bro. <laughs> but these are the games we're not supposed to be dropping. Uh, we don't deserve top five, bro. We've got a top bro, five, I don't want to hear nothing about the don't, don't deserve top five, bro. That that yeah. kind of mad talk. This is not this is not feelings police, bro. This is not met meritocracy. If you win the points and you end up in top five, you yeah. didn't merit top five. That's exactly what I'm saying. We ain't merited because we didn't get the points to go there yet. But when we end up there, we will have merited, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That did no deserve and do deserve oh. thing. I don't know what kind of madman thing is that, bro. <laughs> and I'm madman talk. I think he like, was... no deserve success or something like that. Though. <laughs> this looks like extra time. Are we going to 120 minutes? Oh, bro, right now we bro. take it. That's enough because we need to score a goal, bro. They want. <laughs> no, they want I think we... nah, this is this. We uh, we don't deserve a lucky goal again, bro. We this don't deserve week. a lucky goal, bro. Let me get the lucky no. goal and talk about not deserving it after the game finish now, bro. I don't understand. We feel I care about Brentford fans and their feelings, or not one bit, bro. The way we're playing is horrible. I know the, I know entirely the up to the manager, bro. Some I, some of these players didn't turn up today. They're not playing. Game over, draw. Game over, draw. <sighs> You know, whoever said nine points was a crack. This is not going to be nine. We can still get seven. If we beat Chelsea and beat Liverpool, that means the hard games we turn up and beat. Guys, we're the same team. We turn up against a big team, then we lost to Fulham. Like we know our team, guys. Bro. I don't even know, bro. Wan Bissaka just not, bro. This entire game, Wan Bissaka playing a set of shit. I forgot. Yo, yo, playing a set of shit the counter. entire game, bro. What the? I'm happy for Mount though. He got his goal. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Guys, 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 hold on to the reactions, guys, because we're going to go to the match reaction in, I think, 15 minutes, if I'm sure, if I'm 100, being 100% 100 sure, right? Let's right. hold the reaction. We're going to all react to the game at the match reaction party. It's going to be everyone. How are you? Nick and Travis, all the guys are going to be there. We are all going to react. Let's not worry about it right now. Let's hold, hold our horses. Calm down. Think about all it is you want to say and criticize because you know there's going to be lots coming from each and every one of you, as well as myself. You know what I mean? Still 10 no. against league is here. Who's this? Nah, 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 nah. I'll take Sean Dyke over Eric Ten Hag. What's that? Nah, nah. That's the Diddy crack. Somebody just said they'll take Sean Dyke over <laughs> Eric Ten Hag. <laughs> these guys, these guys, these guys not on the on these guys, bro. Forget that, bro. Don't even take those guys on, bro. Because if I tell you, bro. That that level of drugs, 
We don't want to be Ter- taken. Terrible, terrible ass coaching. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> coaching, bro. They they sniffing some space uh, stuff. At least I need, I, need, I need a new manager immediately. You're to gonna need what? one again in two years. years. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm gonna need one in two years after that. You're right, guys. <laughs> guys, so we gonna stop the watch along, guys. Guys, move a lot. We gonna move over to the match reaction party, guys. It's gonna be starting in two minutes. Be here so you guys, you know, could just transfer over to the link. I'll drop it in the chat now. Yeah, so big up to everyone joining us. Big Thank up, you all man. for being here. And we are going to the match reaction, guys. I'm dropping the link in the chat. I'll post it in the comments and pin and pin it as well. Should pop up now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody go and be there. So. You know what I mean? It's a party. It's the, all the whole gang is there. You know what I mean? Whether it's a happy party or it's not a so happy a party, then you know what I mean. At the same time, you know, yeah. big up, you know, guys. Guys, catch you all in the match reaction. Now I'm coming to the chat. We'll send the drop the links for you guys. Vegeta, thanks for being here, Papi. Big up to you, bro. And it was the MUFC Revis TV Happy No Football Power Hour. Stream, you know, watch along, chill along. Brentford won. You know, not a yeah. great watch. It was not a great game. We could have done better. We should have won or we could have lost. But you know what? We ended up with a point and we move on, guys. We are going to react to this. Hope you all have a good night. You know what I mean? It wasn't the result that we are asking for, but you know what it is? It is what it is. And we will be here. Thank you all for joining us. And don't forget to pop, smash the likes on your way out. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bells. You know what it is, guys. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is horrible. Oh, my goodness. I am done!